Good evening, one and all. It is I, your one and not so only host for the evening, the Big Fat Celestial, and welcome to the Misplay Podcast. Tonight, I am joined by Nibiru on Twitch and Darth Trader, who you should hopefully now see on screen if everything is working as intended. Say hi, guys. What's up? Hey, guys, buddy. If anyone has any problems hearing us, please let us know. But yeah, so let me just briefly take a wee moment to say what this podcast is about and what is the intention of separating us from the rest. The Misplay podcast, at its heart, is a way to just sort of kick back, relax, and not have something that's so entirely focused on just the stats or something that's entirely just the casual element. You know, we have a sort of plan on the things we're going to talk about, some things about tournaments, and some things about what we find funny and what we're just enjoying at the time. Um, so it's still a test. You know, everything we're trying is new. Things might change week to week and so on. But this is something we're really excited about. And we're hoping that this will very soon become your hub for Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So allow me to introduce myself first, whether you're watching this past, present, or future. We'll cover all the marks. So I am the Big Fat Celestial, otherwise known as Jamie Smith. I am a voice actor from Scotland. Um, we'll say aspiring. <laughs> I'm still early into the game. I play, I've played sort of competitive-ish Yu-Gi-Oh! for about four years, but liked it my whole life. And my main decks are Cyber Dragons, Mermail, and Fluffle. And generally, I am probably going to be the loud, antagonistic energy guy. But largely, I'm here for a good time. <laughs> so now I shall pass on the baton to the one, the only, Nibiru on Twitch. What's up, guys? I'm Nibiru on Twitch. I'm a streamer from Germany. Uh, same name on Twitch as uh, introduced. You could call me Nib as well. Um, I largely play uh, this game for 16 years in total and uh, f for two years competitive now. I played a lot of casual guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, so overall, I, I play a lot of Lightsworn for the last 12 years. So that's my main deck and some some invoked Shadol on the side. But that's about it about me, to be honest. <clears throat> Okay, and now on to Darth Trader. Hi right, everyone, I'm Darth Trader. I'm also from Scotland. Um, my name's Lewis, and I play Alter Guys, Zombie Swarms. See if there's a deck you hate, I probably play it. So <laughs> that's that's the thing. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, which is Darth underscore Trader. Um, it's just recently been started and stuff, but. Well, getting there, we're slowly climbing, but that's hopefully going to start to get a little bit more um, publicity now that we're doing this podcast with Nibiru and with Jamie. Um, so, yep, I'll just be the one talking in the background, probably making a lot of nonsense, to just hitting you with Ban Garnet now and again, and that's pretty much what I'll be doing. <laughs> the Solid. resident stream degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> So, with that being said, that is the introduction to the Misplay podcast. It will grow, it will change, but I guess we now move on to our first article, which would definitely be a disservice if we were not talking about the new ban list. Specifically, what we think about it, you know, as you've seen, there is definitely some different mentalities going on here. Um, so, you know, if we like it and, you know, generally our thoughts for it and the greater state of Yu-Gi-Oh!, uh, so, Nibiru, do you want to start us off with your thoughts on the palace? Because I think you maybe were the most vocal. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me start off by saying I feel like the current banners was a very huge step in the right direction with uh, unbanning some pendulum cards, uh, with hitting Dragonlink and Dinos, and uh, sort of hitting Trizu. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, so yeah, my, my biggest issue on the ban list is definitely the Dryden hit as a pure zoo player. This just uh <clears throat> it hurts a lot. Uh and I I would have expected three different bands or hits on the ban list for Zodiac. Like uh, I would have expected like Borbo to be banned, uh, Zeus to one or Tanky to one. Like all of these three were very plausible. I have not seen oh like foreseen the Dryden ban. But um I gotta live with it, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that. 
Like for the others, I would say that, you know, LP striker uh, hits were very uh, essential. Like LP was a very big problem for a long time. And I feel like the deck still plays without him, but is very much restricted in the things they can do now. Uh, same with striker. If they had like two or three striker, they can, you know, utilize that even harder and go extend even further. And Mist, I feel like, is is a hit, but I feel like that is it's just another combo deck now. It's not it's not protected anymore that much, but it's just gonna be the it's gonna be dry trim, for example. We can hand trap it now. That's it. Wait, so you are are you in favor of uh sorry, Dino being more protected, having the three misc and so on? No, I'm in favor of getting rid of the misc entirely, but <laughs> I'm also saying that I feel like just hitting misc is um it's it's a good hit, but at the same time, I don't feel like it will change too much about the game or like about Dino. See, as I was saying all the way leading up to the list, though, I I do think it was the right call for them, and the main reason is not so much when you're talking about the turn one sit or turn two situation. It's all about the next turn, and the thing that for me was like such a huge thing with Misk is the dino board was by no means the strongest board or the strongest um, end board we were seeing in the sort of meta sphere. However, you could you had to spend all your resources pretty consistently. Unless you saw something like Dark Ruler, the different types of negates and interactions they had in that board, you had to go through quite a lot to play over it. But if you couldn't finish then they would have the second misc that would have been detached from the Dolka or the Lagia, and then on their you know, next turn, I'm going to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. Uh, I feel like, yeah, it, it does a lot to ban uh, like a hit misc to one because it, you know, the follow-up is not as strong. Um, like I say, like I don't have a huge problem with it because it's, like I say, Dino is just more hand trappable now, and that's the most important part because it's not you open misc anyway. It's harder to open it and to get to it, so it's also harder to, uh, you know, stop me from ashing every, anything you have on board <laughs> or whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah, I agree on that one. With the, that makes them more susceptible to the hand traps and stuff. Um, I was actually playing the new list on Sunday at a tournament, and I was talking. Like, my first game was against the Dino player, and I said, "Would you hang about the misc?" And they went, "It's fine. I'll just throw in Dragon. That's it." <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, fir the first board I had to try and break was a UTC um, a Dolta, Ultimate Tyranno uh, Conductor uh, <laughs> Yeah uh, And uh, Oh what was that called? Dragon That's what I had to try and break So yeah, that's what he said He said the misc hat doesn't really bother me um, He was playing the The scrap engine and stuff So he was just like that's that just replaces it, so just throw in the Dragoon package and then I can start end on a belt it with that. Uh... Speaking of scrap engine, we still have a problem with the Misk. It still enables the FTK. There's still an FTK around with the scrap engine and Dino. There's, there's an <laughs> FTK is... with Misk? Yes, yes, you can FTK with I don't think I've actually seen that or heard of that. Um, okay, there, I, I can see there's an existence. Ex there's an Xyz monster that burns your opponent for the ATK of a uh, monster, and you basically just summon Bish Balkan on your side of the field and swap it to your opponent's field and burn it for 10k. <laughs> a friend of mine plays that. It's a dumb. If it's very consistent, by the way. Uh, <laughs> like to open. Yeah, the, unless you the so much as breathe me. normally. Almost all of those uh, combos seem to be like if you general, if you even think yeah. about negating that board, it's done. Oh, no, uh, if you hit it in the right spot, it should be dead normally. Yeah. Like, that's an FTK still. But the it's not as bricky as 90% of the other FTKs. That's my, that's also, like, a, a point. Are there many other FTKs um, running around in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now? Like, are there yeah. Any? Yeah, there, there's, there's one, and I cannot remember what, what it actually is. Um, oh, it, it basically utilizes um, Cyberstein. And it brings out like the the big bird things. I, the the names are all eluding me, like which will probably happen throughout the full stream. There's a pyro uh, fusion that burns for two k, and you can loop that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, there's also uh, six samurai can basically do anything they want if you don't stop them. I like, remember that video on uh, Coder's <laughs> channel where it's like when you get like the is it the six samurai link purgatrio. Um, 
and there's like one card that's like when all the attack of something on the field is equal or something oh. you can't play card. it's like some weird horrific pole infinite position. headache loop the pole yeah, position it's, it's loop. pole position <laughs> that's the one <laughs> The pole position lock, that was a horrible ruling and uh, it should have never been in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of things that should never yeah. be in the game, why the hell did they limit engage? <laughs> why is that back? <laughs> why is that back? Engage in, uh, uh, what did I say, Jamie? I You're said the resident degenerate engages. player. <laughs> uh, it's coming back to one. That's what I played on Sunday and it was kind of like refreshing to actually play. Like Sky Strikers again. There we go, Nibiru knows. And the fact that he probably can't get the, we can't get the beer with Sky Strikers. I just found out I actually actually have most of a Sky Striker core because it all got reprinted in the tins and then kind of died off. Yeah. And because Don't I'm like the laziest trader in the world, I've had all of it just sitting there. And when I was organizing my tins and stuff the other day, I was like, huh, filth. <laughs> yeah. Are you one of the only people that has Widow Ankles? That's what happened on Sunday. Everybody was looking for Widow Ankles. They have engages. They have engages at the reels, but they don't have widow ankles. The thing I was trying I to find was actually my roses. Because I knew, knew I knew I had at least two, but it, it just disappeared. Same as like my ultra rare drivers. It just It's like, and when the world finally needed him, he disappeared. That's weird that the driver disappears. Normally, actually look in your hand. Maybe it's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I should have no, I... Just draw five random cards from your, your tins and you'll find a driver in there. You know what's the stupidest part about Engage coming back for me, like personally, I I was predicting it for the Spanners to come back, so I readied everything, and I in the same month I predicted that I also sold my, one of my roses. So I'm a dumbass and a big brain at the same time. <laughs> yeah, did rose not go? Did rose not actually? Not by percentage go up more because Engage went from being literally like a couple of quid to twenty, thirty quid right away, but rose well, went from like. I had seen people Double. selling roses for forty-three quid. That's how people, how much people are yeah. struggling to actually have get roses. Yeah. So uh, that's it's insane. They doubled in in Germany at least. Like we had it for sixteen, and they went up to thirty-two on the same day. Have you seen and, the prices uh, of all the ultis though? Like the ulti Kagari, that went. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I'm did so you, sad. Did you see the guy on the trading sites <laughs> that was selling it for a thousand pounds? I saw that. I saw that. I'm so sad because I have the least popular one <laughs> they all, everyone has an ulti kind in their binder <laughs> exactly it's That's not a real problem. trade binder if you don't have an ulti kind <laughs> yeah <laughs> i actually don't have any i, I better get my get finger out and get a couple i happen to have one, one if you're looking for <laughs> <laughs> you know I, am, I, know well. <laughs> I prefer secrets they're cheaper yeah. and they look good this guy who has two out of three of his decks max rarity when i hear cheap <laughs> no it's <laughs> <laughs> ah yes i see you're using the peasant rare <laughs> that's not the milk lady. that's nice what you mean but the, the thing TV. is and this is probably the more important thing when we're talking about engage it only went to one so is it something that we're only going to see in things like eldlich that can afford to put it in as a tiny en uh, engine um or do you think one drones, one engage, a widow anchor, and maybe a jamming waves or shark cannon will be enough for it to start appearing in decks that don't need it. Like, I don't know, maybe even I, Guru. I, I feel like you could even put stuff like that into Guru. Oh, no, no because so you need to have people in uh, your Guru and stuff in the main monster zone. I think for the first, yeah. well, maybe the next two weeks or something, Abdi will be throwing Sky Strikers and everything just to like older players. The engine's amazing. We'll throw the engine in. It's it's pot agreed. It's this, that, and the next time. But I think the more that they'll, they'll notice is they'll be drawing the targets off engage more than they'll draw engage. So it'll be 100%. kind of pointless. So I think it will be an engine that will be used that will then just die off. So I don't see it being a pre predominant thing for, uh, moving forward. Well, the, the thing I reckon where you might see it is in things like pure zoo lists and so on because you could put in a couple of rows and just go into things like uh, so instead of having the three engage you have the one engage and maybe like two sky strike array or something like that i know that's, that's probably like bad theory um but in decks that don't need it as much and can attack directly and benefit off it right away um because it's one of those things where you know if say for instance they use they see 
the barrage or they just go straight into like one of the natural combo pieces and they don't need to use the normal summon which a lot of the time they do but it, i've seen that that zoo engine is now gotten tiny yeah there's literally there three, three cards maybe four cards if you play the barrage and stuff but people some people are just playing tankies instead so it's one of these and i've actually seen people taking out the barrage to then put in rescue cats because it gets you to uh, a zoo and a tri brigade so it's it's one of these things that engine just seems to be getting smaller and smaller that is very true which is sad for a like i said pure zoo player right it hurts yeah. it just literally hurts to see it. but um i don't know engage is something that i was an advocate for for a long time to come back to one because it makes yeah yeah you you, you look at me like that but yeah i wanted it back because I want Striker to be playable, but like I don't want it to be broken at the same time. So I wouldn't be opposed to hitting Kagari back to one or two, by the way, just saying. I, if it's a problem, do it. Uh, but Engage is such a good card for the deck, obviously. But at one... So you play it, you search something, you may get the draw, which is hard enough right now. Um, yeah. <clears throat> And then you might loop it with Kagari back and get a second instead of four. Yeah, the Sky Striker like player <laughs> might loop it with Kagari. They <laughs> might somehow use might engage. Loop it. No, no, no. Like, like you get two engages in a turn, which is still very, very good. I get that, but it's you could have done four engages back in the day, which is a huge difference to now. Because if you engage, 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 engage. I mean, yes, but you could do I'm more. I'm trying to remember that, what it even. was because I remember someone resolved it against me. It was because I remember like going around my locals, like, "How did this happen?" It, someone did it to me. <laughs> it was either five or six times because they recycled it and drew it or something like that. I can't. Yeah, but yeah, they, yeah, they, they, so they put it back the into London their deck. Final, I think it was the London final, the the one before. Engage got banned. The guy used it five times in a turn. And no. they were just like, how did you win? And he went, engage. Engage. That's, I remember that's that. that. Yeah. I remember like, that. Was what so, was the commentary meme not engage into engage into engage? Into... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's not right. a thing anymore. And that's the most important part. You can engage into engage and then it's Imagine done. how great it would have yeah. been though to be on the commentary teams during that Sky Striker format. You know, ah, uh, what are you gonna be talking about today? Ah, oh, well let's just say it's gonna be a very Engaging experience. <laughs> yeah, I just got engaged five times. <laughs> I said so when engage got limited. I went the, the next tournament. I'm going to. I'm playing Sky Strikers, and I just wanted to see how it went. It, it was really good. Like it was so fun to actually get back and playing it and stuff. Um, but it is it's, it's very limited now. So if you find your engage right, so either if you don't have it, if. you're going to Shizuku it. Sky Striker yeah, that, cat F. <laughs> so you're going to use it, get it on your like the end phase then you get to use it twice right and then the, most of the time you're not going to use it twice again in a turn unless you're a say it's Shizuku again dies get a ray ray go into the Kagari to add it back during your opponent's turn mm -hmm. and then you get two more uses out per turn but it is it's, it's very limited and that's the thing you need to find it if your shizuku doesn't resolve to search it then it's going to be a, a harder matchup for the sky striker matchup but i really really enjoy playing a uh, sky striker again and i did i i was such a big I, i'd say that i think the last three three ban lists i'd said that engage needs to come back because the the deck is so fun it's mm -hmm. good and I think there were, there, there's such a fan base behind it. It's exactly the same as Zoo. There's people that went through the Zoo format that hate Zoo with a passion. And then there's people with the Sky Striker format that hate Sky Strikers. But I saw a meme on that recently big... where it's like, um, everyone talk, it's it shows like uh, Dragon Ruler format. Uh, it shows mm -hmm. like, uh, what's it called? Brianna. Oh, Brianna Zombie Brianna, Swans. Um, Ice Barrier. <laughs> it, it showed all the, not Ice Barrier. Necros. That took far yeah, too necro. long to get to my mind. It shows like all these Basically different formats. The same. And it's like, people then, this is hell, let it end. And it's like, when you're in the current format, it's like, oh, I miss the days. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Dude, um, that's it. Looking but, back, but I don't Nate, miss Nate, these Nate misses Colossus. No one misses Colossus. So, I would definitely, it, I, I'm not a person who misses Colossus, 
But there are people who miss Colossus. <laughs> All right, let me. Okay, I Thunder Dragon player type of speak. I circumstantially miss Colossus. It is I really jokingly. the thing. <laughs> I jokingly miss Colossus. No. Uh, my main point with Colossus is he's way too splashable to ever come back. If that wasn't the case, and only Thunder Dragon was really able to utilize him, he would still be a very strong card. But if he came back, you'd need to hit Hawk. Like you'd need to stop other decks being able to splash it and that wouldn't take a lot it would just be a consistency thing so that they're not going to see it um you know by in decks that play like allure of darkness um or i mean prosperity is a thing these days but you know if you put something like hawk to one like thunder dragons probably wouldn't even bat an eye at that but you know if, mm -hmm. whereas last time you had like dragon link <laughs> oh imagine it being yeah. dragon link being the culprit whereas last time you had dragon link being like the culprit of splashing it you would see it less that, that's um, the thing that, this is why i would say see people say well engage can come back why can colossus not come back but the thing is the more people that use <laughs> engage will not be able to like they, they'll notice that they can't play it in a deck but you can play a colossus a colossus is just an end board card so that's why I think Colossus couldn't come back. And he, he protects himself. That is the <laughs> biggest cunt thing about it, is it can protect itself. Uh, doesn't he? Wait, I need to read the protect. I haven't read Colossus since the ban. So. Colossus <laughs> is if he would be destroyed by battle or card effect, where Titan is just card effect. Uh, no, you need to banish one Thunder I wanted to see if it's a Thunder Monster, because Titan does Thunder. any card. Oh, yeah. any T card. Titan banishes any card, but doesn't have battle protection. Exactly. Um, so with Colossus, I feel like not only, not only the Hawk is an issue, but like also like um, the Nemesis, Nemesis Corridor, which yeah. yeah, Nemesis Corridor also helps a lot with the generic aspect of like Colossus. So there's a good reason why Colossus is banned and why he should be still banned. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day he's so power crept uh, he can come back, or he actually needs to save us from a format uh, <laughs> where it's like. Max, you'll come first. Max, you'll come first. It's like in any no, long-running anime. No. It's it's like every Dragon Ball arc where it's like, right, we, we now need to get the bad guy to be on our team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but like, in my opinion, if they didn't hit anything in the current format, I want the Colossus back just to stop the current format. <laughs> like, you, you with Colossus, you get rid of Invoke, you get rid of Dragon Link, you get rid of Dinos. You, all of that guy's needs pickle. to be first. And Striker as well. Like, yeah, but all that would happen is if format, Colossus just came back, into the last format it would just be the end um of <laughs> revenge of the sith you were the chosen <laughs> one you were meant to defeat the format not join them activate hawk summon back roar <laughs> it's not wrong like i'm not denying that. <laughs> like it would have supported and killed the format at the same time like it's it's weird <laughs> literal what mutually assured destruction <laughs> it's like in every zombie movie we've lost this one just <laughs> nuke the town <laughs> move on call it collateral damage <laughs> yeah exactly can we talk about the best unman in the entire list by the way Miras Stelio <laughs> <laughs> I miss that, that little bastard so much dude <laughs> I fucking love Mirage. It's like, okay, Salaman Grey was one of the decks I enjoyed the most in Toss. After Strike Orcus, yes, I was one of these. Um, <laughs> and um, I don't know, having him back makes the combo so much more fun. It's so, ah, I mean, you know, players who don't really know what they're doing get a little bit rewarded with it because it's easier to pilot now. But also, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was testing uh, Salad on uh, stream. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll shake my head at this one because <laughs> every single time I go online to play a deck, it's... You're about to be sad because every time you activate Mystic Mind, they activate Rage in response. <laughs> <laughs> or when oh, they no, set four in... When you set four in pass, they activate ra um, Roar. Wait, is it... Uh, I keep forgetting uh, which one's the pop uh, The pop to. Uh, oh. Right. Right. Rage should be this ball. One of the red cards. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I only got the structural decks for common now, ashes. Now you guys actually make me look it up because I'm very insecure uh, now. <laughs> it's constant. Everybody's playing salad. It is just one of the... I know Abdi's hyped about it being back and stuff, but I went through the salad format. <clears> I watched 
about 18 in originals and it is the most dreary thing to watch and then they just go access code game and they're like as right, opposed right, to just... activate mystic mind pass Aye. Mystic Mind's fun? <laughs> what? Mystic Mind's fun? Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you say Mystic Mind is fun at the same yeah. in the same sentence you said Cell is boring. Aye, yes. Okay, that's an opinion, alright. Alright, right, cool. Right, uh, uh, right, nip, nip, I'll tell you now. See, if someone does not have a main deck out to Mystic Mind, it is the funniest thing you'll ever see in your life. Because I'm, they I'm... go... I can't help this. I can't help this. And they'll still keep on drawing. Still keep on drawing. They're sitting going, sorry, right, mate. Yeah, this I'm is about as funny as hitting my toe off the edge of a table. Okay, <laughs> I can see the point where it's like, it's funny to see the life or like the soul drain out of your opponent's eyes slowly when you have something. <laughs> yeah, it's no, funny. don't, don't, don't take his side on this, Nibiru. No, I'm, I'm saying Mystic Mind is a trash card. It should be banned. But I get the general point. Mystic so, Mind in this case, no. <laughs> as much as I hate it, and I will climb up to any rooftop that can bear my enormous weight and scream yeah. for a Mystic Mind to be banned. I do think, like, if, if the time comes, when the time comes for it to get hit, putting it to one is enough because when... I think it was actually M. Cole Forty put this really well, which is whether people like it or not, there are always multiple decks. There is combo, there's control, and up until a few years ago, there was also always burn. And people don't know what it's like to be hit by chain strike multiple times or whatever it was or uh, whatever. Chain name. burn. Chain was burn. Amazing. Um, chain burn was amazing. <laughs> but because those kind of chain strategies have been gone, fucking... it Mystic oh. Mind kind of facilitates that third type of deck. Now that third type of deck is again the equivalent to um, taking your arse cheeks and going down a slide made of a cheese grater on a hot summer's day. Um, that that's about the same experience as those Mystic Mind Burn decks, but it. Do I like mate, the fact mate, that it needs do, to be? Do not, do not judge unless you have tried it. Go play, go play Mind Burn, and I thought you were about. I comment. thought you were on about the <laughs> cheese grater slide. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, look! Yeah, sometimes not? you gotta get oh, yeah. adventurous in your life. Sometimes you gotta go down yeah, a slide well, made of a cheese grater. Sometimes you gotta feel the skin come off your ass. <laughs> Mate, you're gonna look at that cheese grater the night and go, I wonder. That's what you're gonna do. I can assure you I'm not. <laughs> that is a statement, alright. Welcome it. to the See, Misplay Podcast top ten top ten tips to spice up your cheese toasty. <laughs> I thought you wanna you wanted to say sex life, that would have been way worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, come at me do you like having your posting. testicles stuck in a vice clamp and twisted slowly? Well, boy, do we got the next best thing for you. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's a, I think you need that's what you need to do in the next stream is just play mind bump and just watch the comments. The comments will be hilarious. <laughs> just watch it. You degenerate bastard, you fucking prick. That's that the next thing. <laughs> It is so funny. Just generally do it. See if you are bold, play mind bomb. That's he, it. He's not that wrong, not gonna lie. But like the beer. The no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Alright, the general point, it's very funny to be hated for no reason. Yeah. That is very funny. I wouldn't touch mine with a fucking ten foot pole, but <laughs> still. Um I played uh Bernstein way back when it was like fucking what was it marshmallow and whatever and you use all of that and <laughs> that was well, hilarious i but... remember my very first regional sky striker was still a th uh, the very first regional i topped sky striker was still yeah. a thing and i was beside me on it i was sat down i was playing uh, against a guy uh who were, i can't even remember what my opponent was playing because i was more focused on my opponent's match this guy had like the full sky striker uh, and he was up against this kid who had merged just a few structure decks together. However, the kid, like, the guy swung in, and this was, bef um, I think, just before Heati, or the, the, the Attack Directly one came out. He swung with uh, Kigari into Marshmallow <laughs> and couldn't out <laughs> So I just got to watch as this Sky Striker player struggled against, like, Marshmallow, and the kid was just playing everything from the structure deck. So he had all the mystical based typhoons, all these things. Uh, he, sadly, he lost the match, but he did take game one. 
and I remember just my opponent and I like, hang on, we'll, we'll get back to ours. This, this is much better. <laughs> that kid has won that day. Not yeah. the match, just in general. <laughs> he won, he won. Like, yeah. summoning Marshmallow in a regional is like the ultimate chat move and I respect the hell out of that kid. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you, I have pure Vietnam flashbacks with Marshmallow. I absolutely hate that card because I was playing against my mate while just getting into the Plot game. twist, Darth and... Trader was the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't me. No, he's the Marshmallow. We were just sitting playing it and I was at 600 life points and he set one face down and I went, right, I'll do this wee combo and whatever. I was just learning. I went, attack, and he went, Marshmallow, game. Absolute fucking rage. <laughs> Marshmallow for game is almost as good as fucking Cowboy for game. I think the yeah. worst to me. The worst I've ever had was I was playing Cyber Dragons and my opponent was playing what was it? They were playing Orcust and game three they sided in something uh, as a bit of a tech. So this is on like turn six. They've used uh, desires and they had like the uh, gizmic set up and I summoned Rampage, and I'd cleared their entire f board, no Gizmic, so I, I swung in with my Rampage thinking I finally had game, and they had sided in Grand Manju. Um, that's, that's a hard I one wanted to, to die. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the regional one that I got at the last Tokyo Toys one? Oh, they, oh, I was playing against this boy, we were going into time. I knew it was time, so I decided in emergency provisions, playing Altergeist. So I set five. Of course you did. I just got passed, passed on. I had strikes, I had everything. And we were, the guy normal summoned, and then we had time. But on just before the time, he said battle phase. Shock horror, the attack. degenerate player hears time. <laughs> yep, he, he went attack, GG. And I went, no, no. Flip up emergency provisions. GG to me. He was absolutely raging. I think he actually I think he actually left after that game. It was one of the best ones I've ever had. Dude, I think the best move that I had ever, ever did was uh getting stomped on by BA and then resolving Goddess of Sweet Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I think like it was like a Boris Sword to Dante and a um and a uh, Beatrice on board and they want to swing I was like, yeah, I've got this. <laughs> I, the life drained. And it was yeah. so beautiful. Yonic, Yonic, uh, if you hear this, I love you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yonic is still in the hospital waiting on any visitors. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll move on to the actual PPG, the the one that this is oh, yeah. the first one with the band list. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if anybody doesn't know, the first. So the top 16 was 3 Sky Striker, 3 uh, Virtual World, 2 Shadow Invoked, one zombie, uh, 2 Zombie Eldridge, uh, Drytron, Salmon Great, Tri Brigade, Mech Knight, Crying Kids, and Earth Machines. So what do you think Ooh. of that? Well, how, how many people was this event? Oh, I don't know. I don't have that information. Do you want me to find it? I mean... Could try, but like, uh, I like the. I'm I'm very curious about three virtual world. By the way, that's three striker, and at the same time, three virtual world. That is a very interesting. I think virtual thing world is me. definitely going under the radar now. See, since calamity yes. got banned, but I actually played one on Sunday in the final and got beat off it, and just can they're, they're so consistent now. But it's just well, they're not. They've always been consistent. But I think it's people are dropping it because it's not a one card combo anymore. It's always like a two point five or two com two card combo. Which... I didn't get into this game to think about what I'm doing. <laughs> if I cannot uh, like... monkey my way through a turn, then I shall not play at all. <laughs> and I think it's good to actually see, and obviously that's everyone just seeing the ban list, and it's a good variety and stuff. So it was it was good to see. I don't actually know what one. Um, I think it was actually Salon the Great one. I'm sure it was. I mean, I'll get this information. I, what, um, what did you say the Mac Knight mix was? Uh, just Mac Knight. Just, just Mac Knight. Just Mac Knight. I would assume it's always Knight invoked. It, I remember it's always like Mac Knight topped. <gasps> Mac Knight invoked. Oh. 
if it's actual pure Mac, that because it doesn't say Mac in Bog, I have the picture up here as well. Um, I would be very surprised, first of all, and be, uh, second of all, very impressed to make top 16 in any event with Mac, pure Mac Knights because, like, they're decent in what they do, but I think they they are easy enough to stop in quotation marks. The if it's Scar's tour, well, I love is, it. Is regardless of how good they are or ever will be, they have had <laughs> more of an effect on this game than almost any other archetype in history because even yes. on like the progression series I, it's tally and i've made it into a meme but even on like the progression series with tally and i with the starters and structure decks it's absolute muscle memory now to like put into your wide zones and under your em like you naturally play around the mech knights now so mech knight players can just get to live rent free in everyone's head that's yeah. true it's almost like uh, Gors back in the day. Like, Gors is one of the cards that I think everyone feared and still does. You still attack with the lowest attack first, <laughs> like, if you play through that. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you can get over it, then 100% it is one of those cards, if you did play those kind of formats. Um, but I think Me uh, Mech Knights would actually be quite a good shout, like, a tech to actually play it, because he knows the ban list. He knows that he's got to be playing column-based decks, like, as in, no column-based decks, but they're going to be playing back row. So, Sky Striker, he thought was going to be the most prevalent thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why he played Mech Knights, because he would always have zones and stuff like that. So, it, it was quite clever to actually play that. So, it was, I, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm just looking at the list now. Um, Give me a second. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'll probably be about 20 minutes. I was looking Not at that really list as well. Thing. Earth Box. Is that... Please tell me that's I not. It's, it's it's Earth Machine with uh, the Ancient Gear Box uh, engine thing, where you um, loop it back in the end phase and uh, get a search. Yeah, because it's when you um, add box to hand, except by drawing it, it searches a machine yeah. with whatever defense exactly. stats so, or something. So what you want to do is you want to get box into grave, and then you use the bullet train, and bullet train adds you back a uh, Earth Machine from grave, so you add, add the box, get a search. Yeah, so. uh, I've just got the list. I'll send it to you the, the now, Jamie. Uh, and it is pure Mech Knights. Wow, that is impressive, pure. in my opinion. That is okay. Um, so I'm still too bad at setting up the uh, everything here on like the the stream yeah. ended oh, thing, so tell, I can't bring all these just, up onto the website. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just tell you now. It was two Ash Blossoms. What the three, hell? Three Gilsu, three Blue Sky, one Green, two Purple. In all three purple, three eclipse, one red, one yellow, one world legacy one. I'm sure that one is. Yeah. Then he also played Dark Rule on the Wait. War, Harpy's Duster, Lightning Storm. Oh, so the, it's just the same as like how I've been playing Cyber Dragons, which is go second and yeah. you don't necessarily need to win that turn, but you make sure they don't win the next turn. Um, mm -hmm. wait, so that's show. Can I post the link to the picture in the chat? Maybe that's like sort of how we do it real quick. Uh, I, I could bring I, it I up, but it would work. take me off of the tab. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Use matter. your okay. imagination. <laughs> yeah, just imagine. I, I, the cards, to be guys. fair, we're talking about mech knights in the current format. Like, we don't need to say the list. Like, the words are there. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah exactly. They've done it. The absolute hero. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the list you sent before that, by the way. I'm more Trader. concerned that it's still 23 degrees Celsius for any American viewers um, at 9 oh. o'clock at night. <laughs> Sorry, that was all. When, when, we talk, when we were talking about the FTKs, that's the War Rock FTK I was sent. <laughs> <laughs> like, genuinely. It was I'm sorry, so did you just say. War, War Rock, Rock FTK. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I can see how it works. Yeah, it's just basically two two warriors just to go into a uh, Azold and then just start playing that way. It's Azold combos that go into uh, Cyberstein, which is equipped with the Psy. Uh, the, there's like a Psy uh, thing that Psy, you can equip. Psy wave or something. I, yeah, I, exactly. I, I, so you equip it to a Psy, a psy need monster, more wine. <laughs> and you don't pay effect cost uh, like life point cost for the effects of them. So you can mm -hmm. use Cyberstein infinitely without co uh, paying. Uh, <laughs> without life paying life points and you yeah. make him a psychic with um Ripidocus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so which got, I, I sat through this like it, it was andrew one of the, uh, the people in scotland who was sitting playing it and we we're doing a remote job and whatever and he went i've got a deck that i need to show you and i went right okay 
and he comboed off and I went. Is this Andrew that always off. plays like paleo frogs and burn? Yeah, and, yeah, that's. Yeah. Him. Yeah, I, 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 I love I around. love Andrew to bits, but there's nothing worse than going into locals and hearing your name versus Andrew because you're like he's gonna have a good time. You're not gonna have a good time. I can see why you get yeah, on yeah, with him, Darth. <laughs> I, I say I, I I love him too. Oh, Paleo Frogs is not a good deck. I'm sorry. I like it's a good deck, but I did hate the it. link make any it. difference I for Paleo? I don't want to get like too off topic, but like, did the yeah, Paleo true. link do anything? Uh speaking of off topic, I think we went a mile there. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, we're I know, my, my, kids just, my kids just came in, so I don't know what the fuck you just said. So. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. We're right. complaining about you, how bad of a host you are. Yeah, we're talking, um, this, talking this about you, not to you, Darth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just rewatch it. I'll, I'll give myself yeah. a view. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just cut, cut our faces out on YouTube, and that's fine then. It's your podcast yeah. now. Um, <laughs> Uh, I mean, okay, so... so about hang on, bots. how many people were in that list? Wait. In that event, sorry? They are, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me try. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went to go find that and I just, like, neandered into something else. So, just leave it to it, man. <laughs> Play it to it. But ultimately, like, when it comes to the ban list, um, d despite my feelings towards the return of sky striker engage actually i want to say like engage coming back uh, i think is probably just some kind of plug for bo burnham if not for welcome to the internet and all the different ways to engage it wouldn't like i know i was saying to myself like 10 minutes ago jamie don't make that joke you know it's bad don't, don't make that joke but i'm nothing well, if not a glutton that's for funny. self punishment but i i really like it i, I like engage being back i think we can, we will expect to see Gary maybe go a two, maybe two. I don't think they'll hit yeah. Wanker. I like if they, if they hit Kigari to one, the deck's dead again. That's that's the thing, and I don't think they want to really kill it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, know. Well, like we need to see. Do I don't. XYZs? I think without that mad resource grind, because it's we're not in like a state of power creep where like sky striker is already irrelevant even with engage so that's absolutely not the case but the difference of one engage isn't just you know the the consistency well i suppose it is because you know the thing with engage is it was beyond likely to go engage into engage when you thinned out your deck uh when once you've used area zero and so on um but it is about you know if they set it off multi roll and it's gone, then it's it's gone, sort of thing. Uh, I, I, I'm, I think my stance is that with cards like Engage coming back, I think I I actually did quite like the list for the most part. I think Misk to one was correct because it it didn't like curb stomp dinos. It was like you're still as good, you just aren't always gonna have the Misk in hand for the protection but your combo is still pretty much the same, your end board is the same, you just can't do the exact same thing again turn three after being Dark Ruler no more and your board obliterated. I, I quite like that. I think the way they treated Dragon Link, a lot of people are still like, well, the deck's still not dead. That's fine. You know, I don't like when decks die. And I yeah. think that's something that we've seen happen less because it used to be, like when I got into the game and the ban lists that came out, like when I got into the game were like thermonuclear. Like a deck got hit oh, and cause... that's it. You are out of here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like things like Orcust, I think the only thing with the list, I don't have a problem really with anything that's on it. It's the things that they could have yes. released. I yes. yeah. We're never going to get a list where they just unban every bad card because they retrain things, reprint things. You know, they do all these different things. I don't have an issue with that. But I, I would have liked to see a few more things come back. Like, you know, something Tell like Heart Potter or... Please. Maybe even some old, maybe even some older <laughs> cards. Um, I I know I've said this, and I know it's like a really unpopular opinion, but I would kind of like to see the Dragon Rulers um all go back to one just to see. Not all. I will fight you on the Earth one, but the others are fine. <laughs> yeah, the other the, the, the thing is, the ball, and I've made a point of saying before, like I'm not the biggest Pendulum guy. All the viewers disappear. I'm not the biggest <laughs> Pendulum guy, <laughs> but oh, that's the same when they're leaving. Especially with the fact that LP is now banned, because LP was actually still a really big part of a lot of like the Pendulum mm -hmm. combos that were around when Electromite was banned. With LP gone, you could probably bring back Electromite. 
And it's, again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Pendulum, mostly because, like, once we go beyond a sentence, or, like, if I say my opponent, what does it do? And they, you know, if they say, oh, it pops, it sends, I'm like, cool. If they pick up the card, I'm like, this is going to be bad. This isn't going to go well. <laughs> if, they ha if they themselves have to reread it to me, I'm like, oh, no. And that's all that Pendulum are. But, like, I, I yeah. like I like lots of decks being around, um, and but equally, this, this is something I feel doesn't get talked about a lot. When you have a lot of decks running around, there are certain decks that get better because of that. So say, for instance, right now, Droll and Lockbird is a sensational hand trap. But if you had loads of really, like, say Dragon Link was still around, say, like, randomly, Orcust was at full power with Mermaid back, all this stuff. Say you had all these kind of mad decks. Okay, yeah. But theoretically, Drytron's still the best you know, let's not get into that. If you, uh, Droll is like really good in this format when there's X many decks, but when you have so many decks of an equal level, building that side deck gets a lot harder, which depending which side of the fence mm -hmm. you're on is either a good thing or a bad thing. Because right now for like most of my decks, it's, you know, like for instance, my Mermails, I go first. I've got like two cards I side in for going first. Um, and for going second, it's back row removal and uh, board breakers. So just any go against me then is in your side deck <laughs> basically it's only yeah. against you <laughs> no uh, as most of my I... chat can attest i've clearly made some dark deal because dark ruler no more whether i like it or not at this stage is glued to my hand no no one draws dark ruler no more quite like i do like especially like <laughs> nibiru the other day i had a game against tally and i lost like every game i was bricking but in every hand, Dark Ruler No More was there. It's like Surf. when you make that deal with the devil. It's like, I Dark Ruler No More made me the Ghost Rider of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it's like, wow, I'm super powerful. I can always draw Dark Ruler No More. It's like trade offer, but the rest of your hand is dog shit from now on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. kind of deserved. You full combo with me after Dark Ruler me every, t every hand, so... <laughs> well... <laughs> Did you ever see that that film? Right, we're going off topic here. Just that's fine. That's fine. Along with yeah, no, no, all good. Um, that that Brandon Fraser film. It was the one that he did the deal with the devil, and he wished to be the big sports guy, like the big NBA player, and he was, he was the world's best, and he had the tiny dick. That's what that <laughs> story reminded me. <laughs> that is genuinely what that reminded me. Every best thing has a consequence, and that's. You know, Brendan happens. Brendan Fraser was getting ready to return to acting, and <laughs> for whatever reason, he's ch chilling in this podcast right now. He's like, five more years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just, just wait until that stigma goes away. <laughs> so, I reckon at, at, at this point, like, we can kind of move on to like the next topic, um, because it all yeah. it all blends together. It's almost as if it was planned or something. <laughs> um. <laughs> But it, so moving on now from this discussion of multiple decks and the side deck and so on. So uh -huh. we, we're now moving into the new emerging meta. Um, but there's there's caveats to that. But before we get like into the rest of it, what's everyone's like top picks for the best decks of the format? I think uh, is Drytron, you kind of look by Drytron. That's the thing. I think Zombie Outrage, eh, no Zombie Outrage, eh, Sky Striker Outrage, if it is played by a better calibre of players, not saying that the ones that have been playing it the now are they have a good standard, I think if more play people play that, that could push to be the best deck. But with Dragon Link out in the format, more people will be gone, will be going second because you can blind second now. So I think that's one of the reasons that it isn't good to play trap based decks. So it's. We're, we're just in literal limbo now. No Wait, one you're knows. telling me this is a bad format for trap decks? Oh, this is uh, going to uh, be a good time. <laughs> to, me, I, to me, I think it is because people always wanted to go first to play against Dragon Link because Dragon Link could make an amazing bolt going first and that's the thing. You wanted them to go second so you can have all your floodgates or your negates to stop them. And now that's the way people go... That's thing. I'll just go second. I'll put lightning storms in the main deck. I'll put twin twisters, whatever. And it's it's one of those ones. I think that might be the downfall. It will reach Sky Striker, but we just need to wait and see. But I, I can't look by Drytron, and I don't know. 
I think that the, the high representation in most tournaments now is going to be salad again. So I think they'll take more top cuts. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking that the hype about salad is massive, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. But I feel like Striker all, almost has a little bit of more of a following. Uh, yeah. We don't talk about why that might be, but... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 No, no, no. De but definitely like, nothing general. that was summarized to a T on um, Hypnicorn's channel. <laughs> no, uh, like, uh, but like... <laughs> yeah, I just clicked I, that one. Man. I think on the day of the ban list, there was like almost a thousand, uh, like, like, that was like 300 people joining the Striker Discord instantly in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. We're like, yeah. mm, okay. No, uh, it's can like, you imagine if, like... Like the, if that Discord just decided to gatekeep it? It's like, you turned <laughs> your back on us when we needed you. And now that we have power, you come to me, be good. <laughs> it's like they gatekeep it, and there's like 17 players who can play the deck, and they that win every event. Actually be, that should actually be a thing. Look, <laughs> I, you, can't, you can't just go to the winner's team and go like, ah, I was on that side all along. <laughs> it's like, yo, I've, I've got all the inside information. I'll, like, what was, there was a huge, like, scandal a few years ago at, like, the YCS in Prague, I think it was, where, like, a few guys had, like, created what they'd solved the format but it was like in secret like we're talking kgb basement they're there with like computers from the 70s and like we've solved the format but then like one guy in that inner circle was like i'm gonna tell everyone else <laughs> and like that com everyone sided and braced for it and it completely buggered like this 1400 person event for like that one particular list because no one yeah. would have been ready for it but because of the insider leak it was imagine if something like that could so still bad. happen yeah. No, but like, um, I would actually think that Engage is also gonna shoot up in representation, obviously, because the fan base is gigantic, and uh, obviously also with tops. Like, I feel like a lot of good engagement. Engage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's basically the same. Yeah. But like, <laughs> they, they have to play Sky Striker for Sky Striker. It's just for Engage. That's it. Yeah, no, no, that's true. But like, a lot of very good striker players. Ryan Yu, for example, I, I am one hundred percent on the side that he might. If he chooses to play the deck again, he might actually seek some wins with that yeah. now. Um, if overall, it, if it for was, like the... sorry. Oh, no, no. Uh, go ahead. If you no, no, no. You, you proceed, Nibiru. I, I offer very, the floor to you. <laughs> very well, my friend. Uh, so, no, I wanted to say overall, I feel like that Drytron and Trizu is still going to dominate a lot of the format just because of the strength and the um, ability to play through a lot of shit they bring to the table is yeah it's massive yeah i forgot about try brigade zoo I, I was in a different format when i was thinking hey my ones that's the thing what about um, um dogmatica should all invoked and all the oh, it gets a boost it gets a mm. boost because other get decks uh, you know sink in mm. representation and strength I, I would say like this format was on the verge of becoming a slightly slower format but try brigade and uh <laughs> Yeah. Probably just Tri Brigade, not so much Drytron, because it, it Drytron, while I wouldn't quite call it a glass cannon, let, let's say it's a fiberglass cannon. It's pretty strong, but you can shatter it. Um, mm -hmm. th those two decks, specifically Tri Brigade, are gatekeeping this format from slowing down. Um, because I, I'll, I'll just, that is I'm a two turn say, threat. Yeah, I was just going to say, see on the. Drytron front, I'll get the words right. I think we'll see Ghost Ogre come back a wee bit more and more competitive play because see if you use it on the XYZ, uh, what's it called? If you Future? use it on that, yeah. Move beta? Uh, oh, no, move beta. Wait, yeah. which one? The, the new one, the new Drytron one. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Fafnir. Then that, that, can, that can really fuck them up, and that's the thing, mm -hmm. I think. Ghost Ogre could start to see a lot more play. The, the thing, when, whenever it comes to that kind of discussion, like, in theory, so, for instance, mm. if you look at, like, a lot of Pendulum formats where people did put Ghost Ogre back in for checking Electromite and so on, in yeah. theory, a lot of these cards are good when you look at it in that bubble. But the question with mm -hmm. your side deck come, uh, reaches the point where it's what gives you the most broad cover, and when you're against Drytron, right now, you've got the same thing. Droll, mm -hmm. really good. Dark Ruler yeah. No More, also extremely good. Uh, in a really weird way, and this is not kind of a, this is kind of a tangent, not, anyway, 
I think in the most bizarre way, whilst I don't think the next two years will be treated as a quote-unquote GOAT format that people like to return to and play, I think we could almost enter a GOAT-like mentality. I've said before in like my stream how I feel Dark Ruler No More is modern Raigeki, modern Dark Hole. People can be like, oh, it's really broken, it breaks your entire board. It's like, well, in the day, that's what Raigeki and Dark Hole did. Like, it's a similar thing. And now more and more ma uh, decks are main decking things that are turn stoppers, whether that's Nibiru, Droll, Lancia, <coughs> Dark Ruler No More, Lightning Storm. We are seeing more and more of these cards come in that are absolute blowout. And whilst I don't quite think this next thing will happen, it could be interesting if something does, at least at like a locals level, where because of these sort of things, um, and this sort of goes into the next topic, which we'll get into later, it forces a lot of scenes to slow down at a local level, creating a really mixed bag of events, because you have such strong blowout cards that actually slower strategies um, or recursion strategies will win more, a la Guru, Eldlich, um... Orcust to an extent because Orcust are still good and I'm looking forward to seeing what that deck does with scraps yeah because well, yeah. I, I still <laughs> feel like the scrap stuff hasn't been solved uh, no, I, I'm far from not. like an educated source on this I'm just some yeah. fat Scottish guy who drinks too much and uh, watches too much uh, <laughs> but I do think that in terms of what scraps doing hasn't quite been solved I always said, like, when it was coming out, it's going to be good, but in and of itself, it wouldn't be meta-defining unless there was something else. Because as good yeah. as that card is, it's, it's... Someone, uh, when uh, <clears throat> Tally and I were doing the progression series, on, like, episode two or three, Tally, like, across all games, used Graceful and then got Pot of Greed off of Graceful every time. But it, <laughs> the thing that, like, someone quoted in my chat was those cards are only as good as the cards you're drawing off of them. Yeah. Um, so That's the same as anything. That's, yeah. That's the yeah. thing. So it's when talking about stuff like the scrap engine, in theory, really good, but that engine is only as good as what it goes into. And if it's ultimately a clunky version, if it's a harder way to access the same thing that better decks do, then it doesn't really matter. I want the scrap stuff to be good. But at the moment, I've not seen anything that makes me think that, like, this deck is as good as it is because of Scrap. Because right now, if it's, it's like all the stuff that was Guard Dragon or back when Orcus combo was a thing. It's like your deck is only as good as its access to that play. Funny story about Scraps making a deck actually as good as it's getting at the moment. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine and me actually theorized a very dead deck with scraps and i will not go get into details because i might be planning something with that but uh we basically brought spiral back to life with the spy with the scrap engine which is funny as fuck to me and um <laughs> we theorized spiral for like a solid like three weeks in a row and we tested so many things and um i think the scrap spiral is the most consistent we ever got it so it's gonna be interesting <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Do explain. Huh? Oh, sorry. No, no, not, not, not consistent ever in the testing phase, like after the ban list and everything. So right. the consistent version we, we for, uh, thought of or brought up is scrap. Right, right. I, thought, I thought you meant before. No, no, no. Master Slam was back and stuff like that. And I'm sitting going, that was fucking TL0 as it was. No, no, no. That's impossible to be. Like, uh, I think full power spiral is impossible to make more consistent than it was. Yeah, I had seen the the Lithium one. Um, he was playing. Oh, I can't remember. It was it was Spiral versus something. And see when you actually watch Bark Spiral, you just go, "How the fuck did we get through that format?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the question. It's like when you're watching a World War Two documentary and they're talking. It's like how um, it's like here's Germany inventing its seventy foot railgun. It's like. The seventy foot what? <laughs> it's like right. the, it's objectively yeah. the same thing. It's how did we get through that format? <laughs> yeah. I, exactly the the people that are fucking on the other end. It's like a colander, and you're like, how did all the people get there? No, no, no. It's just the cheese grater slide again. <laughs> again, <laughs> again. We're back full circle. And that's how the cheese grater was invented. <laughs> Fun fact. 
<laughs> but like overall, I think the scrap engine can do a lot of things, and I um, it's very underestimated. I think it could be actually bigger. I also think that uh, scrap in general could be an interesting choice for not necessarily meta or whatever, but like in general as a deck because the new support actually helps a lot with some strategies you can pull off with that because you can combo a ton with it. And plus, and... we call it Scrap Raptors searchable off a of Fossil Dig, so it just... Fossil Dig... Yeah, Fossil Dig and Scrap Yard, which is two oh. searches, right? Yeah. For just that, and it's a one-card it... combo starter. Scrap Yard just searches a Scrap Tuner, though, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. but... I, I remember someone yeah. was like, it just searches a Scrap, any Scrap. And I'm like, well, why weren't Orcus players using that to go Recycler? It's like, well, no! Yeah, exactly. Here, well, exactly. I suppose if... you could play that now, though. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like, I, again, Orcust is one of these decks. I really liked Orcust. I played it at full power and when it was uh, obliterated. And one of the main reasons for that, I doubt it gets played anymore, but one card I absolutely love is Topological Zeroboros. I yes. absolutely love yes. summoning Zeroboros. And I'm oh, there with Gizmic in my grave, like, do it. Find something. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm coming for you! <laughs> I fucking love the card, and I, I used it in Lightsman for a while because I was I was desperate. I didn't have Boros Sword, so I just used that as a substitute, and it was the best feeling to resolve. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry, but like... Oh. But those are my then, favorite formats, when strategies yeah. like that aren't necessarily the best, but they're serious threat contenders. Yeah, the, the the main thing about that format, like with Orcus being at full power, and Sky Strikers being at full power, that was just an engine format that I, I felt. And I say an engine format because I played Dark Magician, Orcus, Sky Striker, and it was fucking... Yeah, other phenomenal. than Salomon, that great. You're, 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 that's actually a good way of putting that format. I agree I agree mm -hmm. with you. Because it was Orcus, blah, blah, blah. It was Sky Striker, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All, all yeah. those decks worked pure, but worked as an engine. Which, objectively, is, makes it a good... Com Thunder Dragon no, was in every wait, no, deck. No, 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 no. What the no, fuck are you no, saying, Nibiru? No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no. I was, I was like, I've seen Dragon Link yes, would like but, to know your no. location. Yeah, I wanted to say like there was a Thunder Dragon combo list, and it was like, ah, oh, yeah, no, I remember now. <laughs> Weeps in wanting Sekka's light to come back. Please. That was a brain fart. I miss that was Sekka's a light. Brain fart. Oh, what? You miss Sekka's light? All right. Yeah, Sekka's light did nothing wrong. Yeah. Sekka's right got abused in the deck, but it's gone now. Give me it back. <laughs> Fun fact, back, though, to, to be honest, hey, you can play one. You can play one engage. You when, can play one Sekka's light. Exactly. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> just play it in like. It's yeah, not I the same know. thing at all. <laughs> hey, just draw your Sekka's light. Some poop. Yeah, just play fifty card Super Heavy Samurai and just draw the one of a Sekka's light. Like who cares? <laughs> I've started a podcast a with difference. morons. <laughs> Wait, you just now realized that. that is well, actually, the plan was, I'm going to get these guys onto this podcast because they'll make me seem smarter objectively. But what I'm realizing now is everyone in the chat's like, he willingly puts himself through this? He's definitely <laughs> d as dumb as they are. Did you ever wonder why it was only us two that were, like, offering to help you? <laughs> it's, why, it's, why the other, it's why the other host who hasn't yet made themselves known is like, hmm, I'm going to miss episode one. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'll just wait and see how it goes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> to see if I can... He'll watch the podcast back and he'll go, let's see if I can actually get through 20 minutes of sitting with these people. <laughs> so that's what it is. I mean... <laughs> I'm I'm not saying too much because I don't want to reveal the identity, but I don't think they're I like, a anyone in our respective <laughs> chats. Anyone who already follows us is like, oh, I wonder who it could be. Who are the other content creators that these guys speak to regularly? Hmm. <laughs> well, in my case, it is. Uh... I, yeah, okay. I suppose in your case, <laughs> Mister, I appear in lots of other content creator channels. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello? laughs> One. <laughs> now, I've I've seen you pop up in other people's. Like not as much as on revs, but I've I've seen you like yeah. at least your presence, your your existence has been acknowledged by other very large creators. I've seen you appear. There you go. I've given yeah. you your clout push. Give me my five pounds exactly. after the stream on PayPal. <laughs> exactly, nibs is a big deal here. I'm sorry, I don't have communist money. Uh, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> Disclaimer: This is a joke, and it's a bad one. Okay. <clears throat> he was joking, jokingly, 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 <laughs> man. 
That's one thing that's no. actually all of a sudden disappeared. Is right before this ban list. All right, I've forgotten the name, but like the Og died. The, the, the serpent thing. Oh, Ogdo Eric or whatever. Og- Ogdelidic or Ogdelic. Yeah. Ogo. 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 Snakes. Ogo. Ogo. Ogdelidic. Yeah, we'll go with Ogdelidic. Yeah. Yeah, um, just, just call it Ogdo and that's it. Ogdo. Because that's the part I know for sure. What happened to, <laughs> what happened to Ogdo? Because there was all this stuff with it appearing in loads of lists and then poof. I tested it. It is yeah. interesting. It's not as good as everyone made it Nibiru out. Nibiru <laughs> just made a handwritten letter and sent it to every Yu Gi Oh player who's like, Sight. Guys, <laughs> yeah, guys yeah. I tested it. It's not as good as you think. No. <laughs> Nibiru is the metric because... we all go by for like de- determining what's a good deck. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. which oh, it, it's good. It, like, it's got the same as you keep on saying about the the mask thing. It just happens every single turn. You just recycle it, recycle it, and stuff. It's good that way. But the end boards are pretty shit if you're playing pure. <laughs> That's the thing. With um, like, I was playing it with invoked, and yeah, you get two negates. You can end on a, a like a rank eight, be it hope harbinger or whatever, but. It's no something that people go. That's fucking dynamite. It's yeah. no. It's not like that. It's just. It's it's good for what it does. Could there be it's... more support coming that would help it? I probably. But they will not release that until they put Snake Brain to ban. See with Drytron. What what is their like? If they go first uninterrupted, eighty percent of the time, what does that end board look like? Um. Herald of Ultimateness, um, a Beatrice, and a IP Mascarena. That's like the main thing I've seen. Yeah. So what you can do is you can Beatrice and Eva. Eva then searches you too, meaning you have more negates. Uh, the IP goes into with with the um, Beatrice goes into a Nightmare Phoenix uh, unicorn. unicorn to bounce, and you have like four or five negates on the. Yeah, Her- <laughs> on the Her- Herald unit. is just Omni, isn't it? Yeah. Herald is an Omni negate and a summon negate. Are are any of them using Vanity's ruler or empt uh, or no that stuff? Uh, not if I've, I've seen. Not I've actually I've seen. seen one or two lists that are actually playing like two Vanity's rulers just because if they can't get to the uh, Herald of Ultimateness, they haven't really normal summoned, so they'll just bring, well they can't. Bring that out. I don't think that. Oh no wait. No, you can't special summon anything that can't be uh, that can be normal summon. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. You can't special summon. Yeah. That's oh, the that's restriction. They just, they just tribute someone up. Yeah, exactly. So no, no, it was the general restriction on uh, Drytron. He was confused mm. about. It. Okay, <clears throat> but that, that's that's what I've I've seen. It's it's more of a backup plan than than anything. So, and to be honest, it's one of those cards that they'll potentially brick on more than it would actually help them. Yeah. Although they'll, they'll rather end on it. It could just be ritual summon fodder just for the levels and stuff but i don't think they really use that i've not really del- delved into it um all that much i've seen i've seen the end boards i've watched the videos and i just go bold as fuck i'll, I'll go play mystic mind that's generally what i do so. <laughs> i just can't yo you. this is boring <laughs> i'm gonna go play mystic mind combo too boring i'm gonna go mystic mind i just want to see people die inside I think that's what, all we're I definitely want. if if the podcast works out we're definitely gonna need to do like exploring the minds series at some point where it's like exploring the mind of nibiru celestial and then it's like willingly doing everything in our power to avoid exploring the mind of darth <laughs> So yeah, you go in and it's just the Call of Duty um, symbol monkey. Yeah, it'll just like <laughs> zoom in and it'll just be this. Do, 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 do. The, you know what's the worst part about this? I actually need mines. Oh, I actually need to buy mines. I've got huh? plenty. I've got plenty if you need them. I play striker. Don't uh, look at me like that. <laughs> look at you like what, Nibiru? <laughs> As if my eyes were per- were piercing into your very soul. As if every What's word all? that escaped your lips was met with nothing but pure contempt and judgment. What yes. look could you be meaning, Nibiru? The one you just described, please stop. <laughs> no. Uh, all it's of the above, like, your honor. <laughs> like, uh, okay, literally. I've, I've just noticed that I could click on watch stream and you actually pop up, Jamie. That's that's me just done this and i just seen you with your wee gauntlet. Like, <laughs> Wait, have you not been able to see me this entire time? No, I've just been watching Nibiru. 
Oh, this guy is such a boomer, it's insane. Uh, <laughs> yes! Someone who's more incompetent with technology than I am! Woo yeah, I thought that was hard. <laughs> Heal me. No, that's it. God, guys. Okay, for next time you know now. <laughs> exactly! The, this is what we do, we'll do in episode one for. This is how we, like... Yeah, we should have called this episode zero and then scrub like scrubbed it after the fact. The plausible That's deniability it. causes now an effect, boys. That was yeah, that was something definitely. Scarily, I'm already almost out of wine. Like I've almost gone through a full bottle. Granted, like if I yeah. if I'm, when I'm watching my shows, I drink much faster. Like my my partner, um, prevents me from going to the bedroom until like when. It, whether I'm drinking Jack or wine, whatever it is, until I haven't had a drink for like an hour and a half, <laughs> I'm not allowed back into the room. So I might finish watching my shows at like three because that's as long as I can like remain conscious. But then I'll not go to bed until half four. So I quite often I fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> no, I'm the exact same, man. I, I fell asleep on the couch watching the new series of Seven Deadly Sins. So I'm, I'm exactly with you. I'm not gonna say anything. To yeah. Let's <laughs> not. <laughs> Trader's just. Let's like just say, Trader, your favorite thing about Seven Deadly Sins is probably the animation. Can it deny? Oh my <laughs> gosh! He literally does everything. So I was you talking hate. about this. I was talking about this on stream last night. So I'm not gonna get too far into it because I I do like Seven Deadly Sins. And I know the studio animating it can do well, but, and I don't want to get too into it because I'm the guy trying to break into that particular industry, but it's, um, colorful. <clears throat> yeah, Co colorful. there's colors, nice. whether or not they're in the correct places is another thing. <laughs> All right. well, let's not let, that's a whole other rabbit hole for a whole other show. I'm fairly certain trash yeah. taste podcast have ripped into that more than enough times but um uh, i like the voice cast i like the story um but uh and I, i'm certainly not any kind of gatekeeper to anime i've like as my own chat can back up i am not someone that's like oh you don't watch this oh your preferred watching style is that <laughs> you're absolute dog shit <laughs> like i've never been that kind of person i'm always about like you enjoy what you enjoy uh, but seven deadly right. sins I am not hard to please, but the recent seasons have really made it difficult because it's just very distracting. But yeah, let's let's not go too off track. That's, That's something. <laughs> I've just ran into a big problem. Um, I'm, I know I've not really been addressing chat much of the stream, but like they're starting to redeem quench when I'm on wine, which could go badly quick. <laughs> <laughs> Stream's got to get interesting. <laughs> you made the quench a little low, though. You know, 250 is not that much. Though. That's just because I'm an alcoholic, Nibiru. You know what's funny? I have, like... Uh, let's go a little bit more off topic. I, I have, like, uh, Hydrate as a function in my chat for a thousand, by the way. There's, like, a few guys. Coward! A bit more than a... <laughs> no, no. I had it at, like, 200. It got spammed to the heavens, Weak. by the way. I just and uh, then I made... <laughs> then I made it, like... <clears throat> little more expensive and it's still getting spammed like hell fun it's very fun i would have been on the website yeah, tonight but I, w I was out of it i don't get paid until tonight so how much until you get the cheese grater up jamie <laughs> how, until that's a reward clearly i didn't set the cooldown on quench as much as i thought i did <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man it's so Fucking hot. I know I look tropical, but <laughs> it's too long. Um, no comment. Your honor. Your honor, no comment. I said nothing. You don't said anything. Nope. We, we don't have anything to do with this, man. <laughs> I don't know who he's... I don't know who he is, man. I don't know. Top 10 oh. individuals who get you in trouble for doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Number one. Darth Trader. There's no one alive who will get you in quite as much shit as he will... He is a walking weapon. <laughs> Avoid this man at all costs. <laughs> well, I have the feeling he doesn't even get the meme you're trying to emulate. <laughs> Number 12. <laughs> Burger King foot fungus. 
The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is somebody else's foot fungus, but it turns out that might be exactly what you get. <laughs> oh, I'm never eating Burger King again. Thank you for that. <laughs> That's the source of the meme. Do you no. yourself not know the meme? No, I know the meme, but like it fit very well in this situation. Oh god, that was very German. <laughs> the way I said that, it was it doesn't matter. All right. <clears throat> Again, I put my hands up. I, I bleed the fifth year other. I say nothing. Sorry. Right. Right. Hey, that's it. So I'm off Burger King now and I'm off cho cheese toasties after the. <laughs> Welcome to thing. the We Ruin Food podcast. <laughs> we Ruin yeah. Food. We've got aspirated cheese and we've got Burger King foot fungus. <laughs> that's it. Yep. Yeah, we're really doing great. We're, we're doing a really good job at staying, staying on topic. Wait. Uh to, f to finish this up, we could actually combine that. You can have the foot fungus burger with the ace ascrated cheese at the same time, you know? <laughs> we call that the house royale. <laughs> that's it. Next on the next podcast channel, that says that's where we'll have a food, food fight. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm trying to think if there's any deck, like, we've not talked too much on should all invoke to, to try and yes. lasso things that's, back that's into my way. topic. But like, yeah. when it comes to should all invoke, it's, it's been a deck that I've said, I like should all, but I don't like schism. I Boy. don't mind invoked, but I don't like using a hand trap and them having invocation in hand anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, I think you guys even Wait. Like like the last part is a uh, that you have to be good at the game to actually you know do that so <laughs> there <laughs> are two of types of involved. people in this world those who draw alistair and invocation and those who don't <laughs> that's it draw your alistair draw your invo that's that's the perfect yeah. combo but that, i i don't think there's much to talk about should all invoke because everybody knows about should all invoke it's no changed but the, the thing is, the, it might not have changed, but the format has. And it's not a deck I'm going to pick up. It's not that I... The, the, the thing I'll say about Shadol, and a lot of people are probably going to get angry at me for saying this, I do think it is quite a pilot-intensive deck. You can absolutely mm. monkey through it, but you do need to kind of be thinking a couple plays ahead, sometimes even a couple yeah. turns ahead. Pure I... Shadol is a very hard to pilot deck. Yeah. Invoke Shadol is a different story. It, it's one of those decks that, um, in the hands of a good pilot, it's one of those decks that's just divine. Like, you cannot check that deck sometimes. If, if the pilot is right, then you're in for a bad time. <laughs> I had a friend that was actually the Yonig I talked about earlier. He was on budget dolls and won the extra Eleganza because he was that good. Like he's an insane player with Shadows. I respect the hell out of this guy. Uh he was on pure Shadows as well. Um I don't I don't know how someone can have this much brain power. Like him and his friend are insanely good on the deck, and I would not want to face them ever on the deck. Like Yeah. It's so scary. If you have like if you know someone is good in Sean Dolls, you don't wanna face them ever. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. it's yeah it, it's like when the guy who plays mystic mine at locals comes up and they're like hey <sighs> proceeds to mouth breathe do you want a friendly <sighs> proceeds to mouth breathe again <laughs> <laughs> yeah which what should all should all are such a good deck see especially if you know exactly what you're saying exactly what you said now like my my wee cousin he actually topped uh regionals with pure shadow back in that that era and stuff i wasn't playing at the time Who, do, do i know your cousin i don't know I, I, maybe <laughs> well are they in are they in the, my lee. area lee lee i don't know if you know lee tally that's, that's, <laughs> i'm not exactly wanting <laughs> to broadcast Ro wrong lee. it's just a picture of like wrong four lee. foot tally next to eight foot dark wrong color patting him on the wrong head. color Wrong color. wrong color, wrong height. I plead the fifth, oh. Your Honor. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I didn't even hear what you were saying. I okay? plead the fifth. <laughs> Nibiru, all, all to know is if I throw my hands up, throw your hands up right away. I mean, I'm German. I don't understand what you're saying anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak your language. 
Yeah. <laughs> Nine speak is it nine nine speaker der Deutsch or something? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> ich spreche kein Deutsch. Nein. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Deutsch ist nicht gut. <laughs> I um I as if we were back on topic. Sorry. Goes, what the fuck uh, is topic? He, <laughs> he came <laughs> back. Dead? He came back and played the structure deck tournament, and there was like twelve okay. players, and like I don't know if you just had to have it in Germany the sneak peek. Where you just mm-hmm. have the one structure deck and you win a mat and stuff like that, and oh. he caught the thing without even just that's that's generally what he did. Did, he did any exactly of you play the... the Layer of Darkness sneak peek re- no. or the Layer of Darkness release event? Attribute, that was your tribute. I tribute your tribute. That's it. The Layer of Darkness sneak peek event or release event was mm-hmm. one of the most soul crushing things I have ever been involved in it was absolutely for everyone involved like the deck you know outside of its bubble because I, I remember that time everyone was like get ready for the infernoid meta and i'm part of me sad it never came and there's definitely darth you probably know who i'm on about i don't want to drop people's names or anything on this uh, but yeah, there's like yeah, one yeah. guy in our scene who was probably more devastated than anyone that that never became the meta but yeah the the layer of darkness release event was agony <laughs> it was it was like you said a tribute you're a monster cool i'll uh tribute your mon- oh, so, it was so bad <laughs> <Yeah>. anyway <laughs> yeah see, see when i was playing that tournament i went we would have been ju- just better playing pure kaijus that's what it was i'll tribute get a kaiju be mine that that's what it was it was literally each turn you kaiju that's what it was Oh. Nice. See, I but think that's. I think, I think Kaijus are definitely going to bounce up a lot more uh, in this format. I mean, Fine. fair. It's especially with like Drytron end boards and with like Dragoon being still around and mm-hmm. stuff like that. This is actually a fair point. And Winda also, like, if they set yeah. up Winda too early, because some people actually do that. They don't wait for anything, they just set up Winda right away. You can just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've it. seen people just go standby phase Winda. That, that's the thing I'm sitting on. Well, that just tells me exactly what direction I'm going to have to go. I yeah. think I don't think we're going to see Kaiju's at least at the start of this format because you've got barrier statues in Tri Brigade who just say no. Gadala. Um, what? Gadala. The wind Kaiju. It's a you, windy boy. Yeah, I mean, you you can play it, but the the, the point I was going to make before I, just, I got distracted, the the problem for kaiju's is they worked in formats. The the game is getting really fast, and we are mm-hmm. nearing the point of singularity where Yu-Gi-Oh cannot get any faster, because we're make when, we're at the stage now where there's more negates than cards, and that's a whole other discussion, but. Why play a kaiju when you can play Dark Ruler no more? Why play a kaiju yeah. when you could play Sphere Mode in a deck that doesn't normal summon? I really like kaijus, and again, I'm I'm not in like this bandwagon of like this was the best format, this was the worst. Because as a player, I not to say if I'm good or bad, but like my skill level has all has been kind of gradual. Then there was a plateau. Then it would jump and then plateau because I changed the scenes. I changed who I was testing with. And the thing I'll say, especially recently, because obviously I took so long away from the game over lockdown, I've become horrific. I'm now I'm now dog to your shit. But the thing that I've always relied on for being good at at Yu-Gi-Oh! is deck building. And the, th- the, the question I always ask myself when I'm building anything now, and this is, of course, the absolute mit- uh, metric that all players should go by... <laughs> The, it's, yes, this card is good, but is there a card doing that job better? Which is so often the case. So take, for instance, I had a conversation with someone, and on the very slim chance they're watching, I apologize for this like indirect call-out, but they were playing Blue <laughs> Eyes, and they weren't the most savvy player, we'll say. And they were playing, um, is it uh, Majesty of the Blue Eyes, the one that's like the attack stopper? Yeah. And I was explaining, like, 
you like this card and i get why you like this card but this card is non-searchable and doesn't benefit you except in this extremely niche way if you're gonna play a card like this you might as well play fog blade or shadow spell because those cards are objectively better than this card and the reason i bring up that niche example is that when it comes to kaijus and so on the format is now really fast there's a reason that the rogue decks that win main lightning storm main dark ruler no more may you we're seeing obliteration <laughs> we're, we're seeing the delete button and i i don't dislike that um because there is a potential that now that we have pot of prosperity now that we have dark ruler no more um if another card come like now that we have droplets droplets isn't quite there but if you look like at my weird example earlier of goat format dark hole rideki we have prosperity we have dark hole no more dark hole no more dark ruler no more <laughs> my, my chat has been redeeming quench too much <laughs> dark hole no more is dark hole no more oh creep as a as a whole <clears throat> that's that next time on the progression series Vitaly and he activates dark hole card destruction monster reborn against me i'm gonna dark hole no more dark hole no more, <laughs> <Dark> hole no <laughs> more. <laughs> um but like we've got with lightning storm and with uh lightning storm dark hole no more and pot of prosperity we're now in this position which is things like nibiru lancia droll as good as they are for decks that don't go second a lot of rogue decks cyber dragon mech knights everything else <laughs> yeah. l l lazy commentary as we've <laughs> seen it is now about yeah we go second because it's an everything go first format and we have to play absolute obliteration because the thing is as well when you play any of those cards where it's like well tri brigade have monsters on board and they've got the revolt you know that's what's keeping it in check at the moment because they obviously try brigade get to the barrier statue before the fifth summon and they've got yeah. the revolt so if you only have dark ruler no more as i learned in my matches against tally that's not enough because you can dark ruler no more attempt to make any plays uh like even if like and if you have dark ruler no more and cosmic cyclone if you're a rogue deck those remaining three to four cards in hand you're not gonna get game and they've set up everything they need because when you activate Cosmic Cyclone, all that does is bait the response. They still chain it. So even if you negate and then kill all those resources, they're there in the grave. Um, I don't... I've not played enough against Tri Brigade to have any issue with it. I just like that there are new decks. Because that, that's definitely been a complaint that everyone's had for a good while. Is that we have been seeing Dragon Link. We've been seeing Invoke Shadol. You know, it's been about 18 months of boom. And now we've got Drytron. Bit different. We've got um, Tri Brigade Zoo, which has been creeping up for a while. It's been creeping up in those 18 months, but now it's here. Yeah, uh, it's... That, that, that's... Yeah, I went on a really long tangent there. <laughs> but the, you know, the, the point is, that's when cool. it comes to Kaijus and so on, we have cards that are just complete blowout. And we need things to slow down before those cards come back um yeah I, but I, I feel i as i was saying about the kaiju but there is some decks and like so like take striker for instance right i know for a fact that see if say the, the the board i was playing against um dinos and stuff i know i can deal with a utc i know i could deal ultimate with ultimate tyranno conductor yeah with him uh, but if <laughs> I'm I'm totally missing something, but I'll I'll, I'll be the sensible one, right? <laughs> but he had dragons. I know for a fact I can out a dragons with striker. Like like evidently I, I can't unless whatever I'm playing. But if I kaiju the dragoon, I know I can do the rest. That's that's the thing. Okay, some, yeah, that that, that that that's a good example actually. You you some, you some, you've put some, me some in my place. Deck. Um, yeah, some certain decks can out everything else, but if you can't be targeted, cannot be destroyed. It's Ka Kaiju is the best thing outside of like I know Lightning Storm's good. So, some decks with, with droplets getting on the, the dragoon and stuff is good, 
but it's the fact that you lose a resource in some decks losing a resource might not be the best thing because yeah, e even so. in sky striker like dark ruler no more is just another spelling grave like you're not gonna mm -hmm. otk with sky strikers like i you don't want to I, i'm considering playing it on my stream at some point for a laugh and it's like i i'm thinking every time i look at it i'm like going second makes more sense than anything else for yep. sky strikers main dark yes. roller no more main lightning storm then you've got engage you've got widow anchor you've got jamming waves you've got shark cannon you've got all these cards i'm like yeah if i'm playing sky striker even if it's just on stream i'm playing go second um no go second is the better version version yeah, yeah. and that that's yeah. one thing that i kind of like sky striker is a very good deck with one engage i don't know if it's enough with the current state of the format the, the way current decks play which is still so. um but the, we're still in a position where dark ruler no more is still carrying the format you know we're, we're not yeah. now that dragon link is gone and tidying along with it kind of there are no super serious contender decks that um play through dark ruler no more except kind of tri brigade but like all you need to do is just bait out the revolt so you just go into your play dark roll and then have some fallout play and that that's why tri brigade is good a deck that can utilize a trap card like revolt it's it's my <laughs> my down-to-earth comparison is like cyber dragons yeah excuse me I think, when um sorry i i i, I was just gonna say i think seeing when we get salads back in competitive play i can see sanctum and scythe being sided again or even main deck because i know some people were main deck in it so that might be their direct out to the dark ruler no more oh i just realized something yeah. the thing the big difference between mirage stallio then and now is mirage stallio for the rest of the turn what do you mean like the, the is, fire is it, like when, when you special something and you can only activate fire monster effects is that for the rest of the turn or you can only use fire monsters effects the turn you activate this card um for the rest of the turn it's for the rest of the turn mm -hmm. because artifact dagda is now a card <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. yeah pendulum boys pendulum 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 but, um, but yeah the thing i was saying was like um <laughs> oh shit i forgot my point i'm gonna drink uh, more I'm, white I'm wine you guys carry the conversation not, you said not dark as a Huh? It's a dark does. No, 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 no. Before the dags, I think. Before, before Darth was speaking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? What do you think uh, of? Like, why do you think of speaking, Darth? It's this podcast. You need to be quiet all the time. Right? <laughs> Imagine not <laughs> giving me the means to speak it when I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I don't remember. Like, uh, you were going on about Revolt, I think. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, so, no. like, with, with Revolt... The oh, re you said about my Mirage Stallion? Yeah, no, that, no, that was my next that. point. But, like, the, the thing with Tri Brigade, this format, is right now, you have Prosperity, Dark Ruler and War, and Lightning Storm. So, even when you're... When you're whether you're talking Rogue or Game 2 Sided, the access to those cards is sensational. In a lot of ways, Prosperity is better than Pot Agreed for that. Like, yeah, I might only have one card, but if my deck's consistent enough, and I top that, like, Prosperity is effectively kind of allowing me to play six copies of my respective out. Because if you're playing Dark Ruler No More and Lightning Storm, like, it's very likely that, I think statistically, it's more likely than not, you're going to see one of them. So Tri Brigade is good as long as Revolt is a thing. Because if they're making the barrier statue plays, which is four summons, can't be Nibiru. Or I think it's only three summons, actually. Three, three summons, can't be Nibiru. And then they'll you get their... You only need one summon. Well, no, you need... No, yeah, like you have... Summon, um... But like if they go into some org, they just do the lower list plays. <clears throat> I mean, that is fair. That is very fair. You don't uh, banish for the same org normally. Like, in, like with the lower list especially. Yeah, that, that's what but, I'm saying. Like, Tri Brigade? Yeah. Or at least... Yeah. I am certainly far from being a a, a, a citable source on the matter. But um, I have faith in Tally. Because Tally um, has become a very good player, whether I like to admit it or not. And does offer a very good, at the very least, very good surface level insight. And Tri Brigade can consistently go first, set up the barrier statue in Revolt. Um, or something like that. Um, 
So that's a difficult deck because if you're going second against that, you need to have something and. Like that that is a two card breaker. Like I said, like in my stream against Tally when we were doing remote duels, I saw Dark Cooler no more almost every single time. But because of Revolt, if I didn't see Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister, Lightning Storm, it wasn't enough. And I think that's why I try to get is really good. But the the thing that, is, that I suppose the problem comes from Tri Brigade that it's really good because it can't be checked by one card. You know, Dark Ruler No More or Lightning Storm on their own isn't enough, which is good. But the deck, typically decks that have that situation where they can play through that, aren't really fast. Tri Brigade is. Yes. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, actually, Revolt is like one of my main problems with Tri Brigade. I don't know, like, um, in general, I like the deck and I like the idea of what it's doing and Warrior, whatever. It was Revolt. Uh, common. common. I, I thought so. <clears throat> yeah, that was in the first wave and it was like not played until Kid and then Kid actually blew it up, which is yeah. fair because Kid yeah, made well, you it, you know, more accessible. Yeah. You need to be able to yeah. up for it. No, it's just very easy to, you know, get it now. Uh, but, like, yeah, like, I don't know, Revolt seems like a very, very, very strong card in my eyes. Like, yeah. what you I, get I, is... I think we can probably all agree that if and when the time comes for that deck to get hit, Revolt. despite the fact <laughs> I despise Floodgates, ergo by extension, Barrier Statues, get rid of Revolt. Mm -hmm. Problem solved. Because, like, the deck still does the main function, which mm. is the link plays and everything. That doesn't go away, but the Revolt actually enables them to plus in your opponent's turn so hard because you get a you get a free link four with the effect of the link four it's not a special summon it's an actual link summon which makes it way better um meaning you trigger the shurik which is a non-targeting banish and then you get all the grave effects yeah. from every single it's, one of it, the it's literally a plus five exactly yeah, plus five I, good I technically better than spellbook yeah. of judgment which yeah it says a lot <laughs> That's how you can come back. That's why it can come back. <laughs> we have revolved. We can Get bring back Judgment. back in your box, Darth. Look, I, engage I, is I, back. I... You got your wish. Judgment can do one. <laughs> but as I, was, as I was going to say, Revolt, I was talking to somebody, and Revolt is basically a block dragon. That's that's the closest compar comparisons that I could get because you literally just link away plus three. And then it's, yeah. it's each turn and stuff. So that's, maybe we should that's... herald the calamity format, where instead of like unbanning things like Heart Potter and so on to let other decks contend, we release Spellbook of Judgment. We release True King of All Calamities. We release Thunder Dragon Colossus. We release no, 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 no. all Most of you. these barbaric cards and create a format where every deck ends on the most absurd the most stupid <laughs> and, and it's just like we just get three to four months of absolute suffering <laughs> i wanted that i wanted that when link was released when link was released i was like hmm, what would be happening if link cross and healthy fireworks obviously are legal and union carrier what if we just unban uh summon talk for example <laughs> So back when Summon Sork was a thing, <laughs> that was back when, yeah, like, specifically with my Cyber Dragons, because that was the only deck I had Max Rate at that time. That's when everything, including staples and so on, I had to make everything Max Rarity. So I kept getting like a <laughs> Shonen Jump Sorks brought in from America, Link Rebo and all that. That was so expensive. And I remember like with Summon Sork, I was, everyone was like, you know what's going to get hit? And that was probably the one time where I've been like, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, no, Jamie. <laughs> It's clearly not fine. <laughs> Special summon from deck, generic link, not fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some sock was an absolute cow. There's no <laughs> like, I, I genuinely can't... It was one of those ones I thought, he is going to be amazing. Like, I, I cannot wait for this card. I, I was like that constantly. And then... Abdel started playing. I'm like, what a fucking but. So oh, want it anymore. I think <laughs> at the time, now when we're talking about the new format, 
And when we're talking about the new ban list, we would be doing a disservice if we didn't talk about this. Symbol of heritage. <laughs> when, I <re> <laughs> <What player? laughs> when I reacted to that being unbanned, I think someone told me it was like Infernity was the deck that abused it back in the day. Yeah, you so can, does, you could have done that, Does yeah. anyone smarter than me know of or has seen like a video on YouTube or something already where it's like Symbol of Heritage is like some bizarre 2% FTK? Is it, there I think, some I've not, I've not seen an FTK, strategy? but I've seen people play it in Rikas just to get Lone Fire Blossoms back. Yep. No, Lone Fire Loop is actual an actual thing. Like Lone Fire is not once per turn either. Like <laughs> you just loop you're the Lone Fire. You're telling me like you're you're telling me Water Plant good? No. Fuck. No. no I'm, just... <laughs> I'm just saying Water Plant can be used, but it's it's it's, it's, it's on the same level Ge as the Gen think. Genuinely, I'm once I get paid, I'm picking up Rika because it, it only costs like. Five 10 quid or something i'm picking it up Rick the, the deck is so, the deck is so bad but i play it on stream quite often i can't remember mm -hmm. what led to me testing it i think i did like a wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh challenge at some point i was like hey it's pretty fun but the, the deck is genuinely rika is so fun it's like everything mm -hmm. that zoo is trying to do except it's bad at it <laughs> and i ah, oh, i need to pick it up and like i, I need to pick it up so like at some point because they have a quick effect tribute and a card mm. that works like evenly where like you have to like tribute cards so it, like plays around absolutely everything yeah, yeah I like think the only expensive thing is, is teardrop the yeah queen. Uh, it's, rank eight. we could like, queen in the rank eight, yeah. three uh five here i don't know what's yeah it, it's uh, what's not like when we're saying like, expensive we're talking like people aren't actually just going to drop it in a throw-in in a trade it does have some value yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of these ones it's no it's no pennies it's just it's the only one that holds any value whatsoever. It's a good I remember, I, I remember I was opening the boxes and I think it was, is it Petal or Fairy? That everybody was hinting was the the main engine card. The main engine like card is Petal uh, level yeah. one. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they were absolutely hyping it, and I thought, right, I got my boxes, and I went, oh, I pulled like six of these. That's it. I've made my money back, and I looked online. They're a pound twenty-five. I'm still like, fucking gutty. It was the same as like like the deck is almost at full power on Duel Links. Like for context, because I obviously play Duel Links a fair bit. And after I'd played like Rika IRL on my stream and so on, I was doing like a Duel Link stream, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I've got Rika cards. And I had the full core, and I was like, holy shit, that speaks volumes. <laughs> Actual Duel Links yeah. deck, like. For Rika, I feel like the mechanics they use and everything they want to do is pretty decent. My main issue is that I think for the longest time this game has shit on plants. So they have nothing to work with. Like, they have stuff to work with, but like the good, actual fucking good uh, ones are banned except Lone Fire. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Like, I have shit on plants in like ways because they had so many. Okay. Let me rephrase this. So they shit on plants by not giving it more support because there was something like uh, like a lot of plants. If you case. shit on a plant, that's technically fertilizer. Yeah, that's not the way I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it... said your deck's no shit. It's fertilized. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Let's see if the white comes up with the nose though. <laughs> no, I, I was like felt it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Your deck's not fertilized. Shit, it's just fertilized. I don't I don't even want to make oh, the point anymore. This podcast, <laughs> even even if this podcast is absolute dog shit and it never does anything else ever again, the yeah. the the sheer energy of your decks not shit it's just fair to life <laughs> will be with me till the day i die oh, i'm, yeah, I'm actually crying that's so funny so, so right, you're, I'm next trying... game, you're in locals and you're playing against a wee boy and he goes oh my deck's terrible just go no no nah, nah, son it's just feralized <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna grow don't worry <laughs> 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 the main point I was trying to make is uh, that, like, 
a lot of very strong cards for plants are hit on the ban list over the yeah, years. Like, like for plants example, have some dandelion. Of the best cards. Yeah, if you yeah. see like if you see, okay, like we have like the Phoen uh, Phoenixian cluster uh, Amaryllis or whatever. That's like an FTK. <laughs> that's, an FTK. Is, that's an FTK. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have that. That fiber jar is not no. We don't discuss fiber jar. Fuck that card. The, play, the best, the best plant card is brilliant fusion to be on the ban list. Shut the Let's fuck up, Darth. Off you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I just said it. Yeah, I remember. Jimmy. I remember Scorpio and the Cobra because yeah. it, it, like that. That was another thing where it's like you might play triple lone fire, triple Scorpio and a Cobra, but you know you're drawing that Cobra. <laughs> Yeah. I, that, that, that was the it. that was the best thing about Lightsborn format. I in my locals there was a guy who multiple times drew Garnet Cobra and Triple Brilliant Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> That's a skill. I'm not gonna lie, oh, that's just a skill. Yeah. That's me and Lightsborn. You could say he was definitely um, pouring drinks because he was a po a poor bar steward. <laughs> God, that's it. His hands will just fertilize. That's oh it. man. <laughs> God damn it! Why is this so funny? This this shouldn't be so funny. No, this shouldn't be. Oh, so no, it funny. should be. It's it's no. absolute. It's top tier. Like episode one, and we've got a meme. Your deck's not it's, shit, bro. It's just fertilized. It's just fertilized. It's dude. just fertilized, bro. Your deck is bad. Just shit on it. <laughs> you either it's just draw your outs or you fertilize it, bro. No, like, oh, oh, God. okay, yeah. I think. All right, back to the plants now. Uh, I think yeah. the best plant card ever made that is banned is by far Dandelion. That card is depressive. Like, like, it's, it's... I don't know. Like, I, I, I saw the latest episode of the progression series with Simo Engage. That Dandelion did fuck all. <laughs> That's, they're, not old, they're not old enough for that. <laughs> I, I still find it like really funny. Like... I'm really hoping Tally isn't watching the stream right now and doesn't watch the VOD. <laughs> Be because now that they've banned Magical Scientist on the progression series, at any moment I'm expecting a, a message that says, I want a ban Pyramid Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> a pyramid Turtle is the turtle. goat, man. Mate, Pyramid oh. Turtle is absolutely carrying me through that series. Everyone can make all the memes and rip the piss out of me all they like. Pyramid Turtle and a Vampire Lord or Real Koki is is better than sex, my guy. <laughs> That's the sentence I heard. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's trade off, that... trade offer, miraculous sex life. Pyramid Turtle into Vampire Lord. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you something, mate. I'm not following you doing that choice. <laughs> oh. There again, you got two kids, so I don't know who's smarter here. Uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Um... <laughs> well, you, you can see it now. Episode one of the Misplay podcast released on Tuesday, and already the members seem to be at each other's throats. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, making this podcast was the first misplay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ergo! Oh. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. yeah. We don't have, like, a list to stay on topic. <laughs> We're just not doing it. No, 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 we are. Yeah, like, we totally it, did it, that. It's like I said, like, we, I created the list, and I said, look, these are the talking points so that there's never dead air. But, like, we yeah. want to keep it natural. Like, we, like if we were, like, yeah. rigidly, like, hello, yes, and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! report. In tonight's report... Drytron still pretty good. Tri-Brigade still very good. Stay tuned for more. Thank you, and I should catch you next week. Whereas here, I'm just drinking copious amounts of alcohol, and now we're talking about how your deck's not shit. It's fertilized. <laughs> no, overall, I think, wait, we our list consists of three talking points, and the rest is open thoughts, so we are yeah, on topic yeah, if yeah, we like, speak well, like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Huh? exactly. That? It, it might be out of order, but Big like... Brain. <laughs> yeah, Big but brain. I think your talking points kind of go away, but... A wee bit dark in some places. We can actually hit one of the talking points that we didn't hit uh, until now. What do you mm -hmm. guys think about you know the return to on paper? paper? Yes, that, I, that I, will I will speak last on this because I am a divine being with um. Hey, that's me. With all, <laughs> I am an all-knowing. <laughs> 
omnipotent celestial being, so I shall let you underlings speak first uh, before I make my point. Darf, go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm, I missed what you said a second ago. Like, I literally cut out for me. So, uh, you thought about going back to paper play? Yep. Yes. <laughs> well, on. I was there on Sunday, and I've been playing for the last two or three weeks um, in one of the places that's tier one. It's it's good being back it it can be unnerving for a lot of people like especially just we've come out of everything and then you're going back and and it's socially it's a bit awkward like you, you could be the safest person and whatever and have everything distanced and stuff it does there is an element in the back of your mind that you're like we just shouldn't be here now but I, nah none of this something. covid shit how are the cards looking well, darth i thought <laughs> <laughs> see play, playing on the sunday it was so much fun uh, see just having the energy back and just ripping this shite out of everybody and stuff like that it was just it was so much fun and i'm looking forward to just generally everybody getting back to just being the way it is and i'm so looking forward to like regionals and stuff being back i uh, didn't come here for the moral reasons that i'm looking forward to paper play <laughs> i wanted to hear what decks are gonna be toxic Oh, oh the me. same as always. Because the, 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 oh. the, the reason I included this topic, and it's one thing I've constantly been on about throughout lockdown, is people are like, this deck is good, this deck is good, this deck is good. People are playing this, mm -hmm. people are playing this, people are playing this. When you're playing on um, recognized Yu-Gi-Oh! simulators that are not officially tied into the company... <laughs> 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 Then, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell am I talking I, about. Fucking final. <laughs> when you're playing, I've these... never heard of these things you're do, talking do, about. Do you mean yourself? Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution? Exactly. <laughs> when you're when you're playing on these things, like every you know, the world is your oyster. You can play whatever the hell. But when you return to locals, exactly. um, you are going naturally. You're immediately going to see way more control because previously the barrier for control was can you afford extravagance that that was it yeah. pretty much um i mean still it rose again so yeah still <laughs> but yeah like i i feel like paper formats bring in control far more um you are immediately going to see local scenes are, everyone's locals is different but i'm sure every locals has the mystic mind guy there's the altergeist one there's the two or three sal like my point is <laughs> When you go into into paper locals, there is a huge amount of variance because you're talking about what people can actually afford versus what they can use on unspecified dueling simulators that are not officially connected to the company. <laughs> stop. <laughs> just, just, just right. Stop. I I'm just waiting to get back to locals and see the people that have been playing remote jewels and they rock up with a fake cards that obviously you can't see when you're doing the, the simulators. <laughs> And you're like, why the fuck is that apple is a green? That's probably one of the ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is that apple oh, is wearing God. a Celtic jersey like? <laughs> I didn't oh, remember apple is coming in common. Happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. That and that's, that's the kind of things that I'm, I'm excited for. It's just, that's what it is. That's what, I'm, that's, that's what you want to see. You're going to see one wee boy go Ash Blossom, you go, that's fake. That's a fake Ash Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a hand-drawn Ash on Microsoft Paint. Exactly. It's like, all, all it is is it's like they've used the red paintbrush to draw the full card and then they've just drawn vague toe outlines. Oh, no. Nibiru, I've like seen your preferred your... artwork. What? I've seen I, your... Oh, I can... Wait, you mean uh, I'm gonna get my ashes now to prove my point? <laughs> no, uh, it's like it's like, like the, it's... is it the guy that's the Yan one? It's like the Dino player clutches the deck. It's like non feet ash. <laughs> Dude, no, I, I, oh, feet ash was one of the worst decisions ever oh. made in the, in the history of the game. But um, <laughs> um, uh, let's not go into that because that's a very different discussion. Um, yeah, I that, think that's that should have been a lost art that was never run as a promo. <laughs> that should have just been a lost art. Don't stop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ash, so, Ash Blossom, just the feet. Stop. Uh, just, just, the toe, just the toe print. Like, you have to actually bring the card to, like, your, your, your local <laughs> morgue. 
or like your local police department and like hey i need this identified and they're like they look at you ah yes you're a fucking degenerate it's just like one toe from ash blossom on the fucking artwork just nothing else like it's fully zoomed but um <laughs> i actually can't say much about the on paper stuff because i have never been to locals in my life by the way um what yes Wait, yes hang on. what yes. really Yes, no. Uh, the only, lo like, I've never played competitive, as I said. I've been playing the game for, like, 16 years, but uh, yeah, very, I, I very I thought casual. you said to me you started, like, early 2019. Yes. That's when I returned to the game as a... No, actually, late 2019. But, like, uh, I returned to the game early toss format. No, end of toss format. Fucking up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's when I started picking up the game competitively. And from there... Uh, I because I didn't have the cards yet, I couldn't go to locals. And when I had the cards, well, you know, COVID was a thing, so uh, it kind of was difficult for me to go to locals. So I'm very happy about the entire remote to locals and whatever uh, that that are happening. And I'm I'm glad mine is not going to shut down. Your features and rev card videos. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's <laughs> not the thing I mean. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> so Ryan, uh, if for whatever reason you're once... watching this, we all respect and appreciate you. We just. We're, we're just ripping the shit out of Nibiru. I hope you can understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, Whatever he so, said, that's so a lie when you me. go When you go back to... Well, when things go back to normal, yeah. that's, that, that'll normal. be your first... You, this will be your first encounter at locals and stuff. Exactly. I'm gonna go to locals and it's gonna be my first time at real locals. It's gonna be interesting. I hope you get to stick mine <laughs> yeah. three times or four times in a row, depending on the size of yours, depending on the size of your respective vocals. I hope there's a system where you get only Darth at the entire tournament. Like, <laughs> you know, fun fact: um, the remote dual stream that Darth and I had the uh, the other day, I believe, was the first time he and I had actually ever played against each other. I'm I'm, I'm right in saying that, aren't I, Darth? I don't think you and I we'll played ever... against each other once. Once, once. Oh yeah, you came out with some imaginary once, theory that I'd lost to you in a regional or something. Yeah, that is what it is. You know, we we all lose sometimes. It just depends on what how you use. It I never lose. I simply it. set up a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got it's got to be exciting to get back to, to playing yes. and stuff, and obviously. That me and Jamie are from different areas and stuff. Like we encounter each other like often in some Darth, places. we're two Scottish you know I mean? guys speaking to a German guy. Hi. <laughs> so, oh, hi. Jamie and I are from two different areas. There's about ten miles dividing us, as opposed to seven hundred. <laughs> Mate, doesn't matter the the size. That's that's the thing. It's just aye, that's how Darth has led his <laughs> life. Yeah. Can the That's camera it. stop exclusively exclusively people. plays 60 cards to overcompensate yeah oi what do you that, that, that felt like a direct at, shot at me and at i don't like it players. <laughs> fuck off <laughs> <laughs> sorry darth you were saying wait i don't know what you're talking about this deck is not thick enough <laughs> oh my God. it's like holding up a I'm five a guys dodgy burger <laughs> I have I have double sleeves on the way. I'm gonna double sleeve that shit. <laughs> it's it's no fucking deck box you need. It's a fucking chest. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll fit. That that'll be too. It hard. has like if if I put that entire stack in, it still has like a forty card deck uh, to fit in it. Now for the next like, segment of the podcast, why is Lightsworn still shit at the beer? <laughs> See, there is something That's that we never got. <laughs> And that's the support way. No, just kidding. <laughs> Why is it when I activate exactly. Raiden in 2021, we cannot just mill Wolf and Felis immediately? That's because we're still waiting on Insector support. That's why we can't find them. <laughs> It's I'm like actually you, you know those memes you used to get where it's like such and such if we never did this and it shows like a beautiful utopic uh, utopia world. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, the future when the Insector support finally releases. <laughs> it's like pristine white futuristic buildings flying cars. Is it not a trap <laughs> card they're getting? Yeah. Trap oh, no, no, it's is trap, it, right? is it no maybe five that that's what you are getting. You are getting five cards if you won the 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 no, one. no, you only get one. one card. You get yeah. one support card. But did I players not get a full fucking structure deck? Did what, sorry? 
Ice Warriors. Ice Warriors, they won the first one and they got a full structure deck. Yeah, that was, no, the, that... That, that was a specific vote for structure decks. Yeah. And they no, gave the structure they vote. Yeah, so she yeah, all won the first one, then they did another one where it was Ice Barriers and uh, Cyber Dragons. Cyber Style is the next one now. Yeah, Cyber Style. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be Cyber Dragons. Don't forget the Cyber Dogs. Yeah, no, that, that's the thing. <laughs> the entire time I was saying... You know, logically to me, it makes sense that cyber style will include stuff that is at least very good for cyber dragons. Now, I'm probably too small brain, and with the hits to Dragon Link, this changes things. But I'd always said there might be some really incredible, mad synergy with the cyber legacy stuff that works with Dragon Link that I can't see. You know, like where you play core, repair plant, and so on with Dragon Link because of some of those cards. But wh when they come out, Purely on principle, I will pick up three of those structure decks and do whatever I can. That's fair. It only That's depends fair. on if we get a direct OCG reprint. Dude, of, that would like, be they, insane. They got impermanence and they got lightning. So I, I, we'll think, get, I think we'll get impermanence. In effect, I think it, it's enough time has passed now. Same as Ash. Because I remember when Legendary Collection Kaiba came out and everyone was like, I'll buy your secret Ash for a fiver. I'm like, mm. <laughs> But no, I think... Yeah. Impermanence has been around for long enough now, and it's impermanence only. Impermanence is really good in Salad Mangrates for lots of reasons because Salads Yikes. lose to every floodgate effect. They lose to every floodgate effect. But yeah, honestly, I think Im it's it's time for the imperm common. I've got my secrets. Mm -hmm. I've got my embossed golds that I need to shift. I, again, I reiterate, I'm just the laziest trader in the world. I genuinely have about. Pro near probably near towards a grand worth of stuff that i could sell like that one trade post and a march to the post office i'd be fine but i'm just too fucking lazy <laughs> what a flex by the way uh <laughs> well that, that that's exactly. with that's with blowing my <laughs> my wages over the past sort of four and a half years but yeah i so, I, I think the imperm common reprint <clears throat> in cyber style i think that's gonna happen they yeah. can. It doesn't even have to be common. It can like be another like Harvey's Feather situation yeah. where they go like with the super, super. and that's yeah. more than enough. Like I actually, by the way, this looks fucking cool. The, like Harvey's Feather and, and super, amazing. Um, I just threw boxes all over the floor. Really. Hang on. Um. I'm gonna start, I'm yeah. Um, controversy. I'm gonna find the superior. Harpy's no, Feather. if you say if you say gold, I will hit you. Gold. I can. I yeah, I can't. I can't, I can't I'm, see I'm, the American gold legendary anymore. collection secret. Um, give me a wee second. I think I've got a world championship one. Fuck off, Dar. Just let, just let me find it. <laughs> no, that, that is... The game promo one is actually fucking good. Like, that mm. is so, so nice. Um, it but yeah. Must be the to but it's such a nice secret. But yeah, yeah I, really I, 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 I... I do think the... What? I think the Imperm Common is... Uh, sorry, I think the Imperm Reprint is coming. I, yeah. I would agree. Like, Imperm is one of the cards, like you said, that it has four print things. It has been years since its, its release. Yeah, I mean, Get it came out in, like, one of the initial Link sets. I, Flood? Did, Flood, did Flood not immediately come out after Cybernetic Revolution? I think it was two sets after that. Well, you, you had the set, you had the Firewall set, which was... Mm -hmm. World Chalice. No, what, what what was the name of that set though? Uh, yeah, I I, I think it, I think it was the the whatever the firewall set was followed by SIDR, which was the bar load set. Um, yeah, code code of the duelist. It was code of the, code duelist, of the duelist. Then I think it was cybernetic gravel, and then I think it was flood. I I do think flood was the main set that came after. Third of May, twenty eighteen. I don't know if that helps. Well, I started playing. Uh, about April 2017 competitively so yeah that checks yeah. out because like yeah yeah no yeah. That, yeah flood I think flood okay. is the, the the third link set so yeah we are considering we're now into sevens which still hasn't arrived we still don't have rush jewels in the TCG we don't um, need it uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> what did you I say just got like we don't need it <laughs> it's 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 like okay speed duels and rush duels they're like all right they're fun to play every now yeah. and then oh, like, yeah extreme forces as well doesn't really do it for me <clears throat> like, i i like speed duels uh not just because yeah. of the ludicrous um prize support um mm -hmm. but 
one one thing that the progression series with tally has taught me is that i really enjoy monkey Yu-Gi-Oh, which is normal summon flip trap hole flip compulsory like i enjoy back and forth interactive games um and yeah just, just straight up i really enjoy them i don't like have the i'm not in this sort of position where it's like modern Yu-Gi-Oh is such and such i do like modern Yu-Gi-Oh. i like because like the mermail list i run right now is something that's quite original to me that's something that i built up that was something i was able to theorize and it works pretty well so i have a lot of fun in the satisfaction of that um yeah. but th there's always going to be something to be said for like classic Yu-Gi-Oh. it's there's a reason that it draws us back in it's the reason lots of us own you know <clears throat> lowest rarity goat decks and so on i i think goat is like the bet like if you've got a couple of mates up and you're having a couple of drinks slapping a couple of goat decks out in the coffee table is like always going to be a good time yeah no, I, I agree I, I think see speed Joes for fun players speed Joes is really good it's something they'll pick up and do but i think more competitive and better players will always go to goat more than they would go to speed Joes. yeah definitely like speed Joes doesn't have the um for me at least not the competitive aspect that i need for a game to to give me you know and uh, the actual tcg does that uh, very well and uh, speed tools is still a very very fun thing we had a speed tool locals for a few weeks and it was great um and i would still play speed tool events if, if they uh, were coming up like there's no doubt but like yeah. overall uh tcg over speed tools any day the, the thing yeah. i think it's one thing that i enjoy because like in my short stunt in my previous job where i was looking after a game shop um, i made a point of trying to like learn because my, my end of the year goal was to become judge level for the core games being pokemon magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. sealed and draft formats are good fun you know it's mm -hmm. i like things and it's it is the reason that i prefer the tcg over the ocg i know there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that like maxi and so on but the, the thing about Maxi is it, <laughs> it is it creates a it, it's a creative black hole. Every deck needs to play it, and the in the OCG, every deck starts off at thirty seven cards because you have when Maxi is around. If you're not playing it, you you're setting yourself up for failure. Um. So in the TCG, I do like the creativity side of things. It's why my favorite decks are things like Orcust and going into Zeroboros. Get this man oh out of here. Gosh, Darth. Get this man out of here. Darth, I don't want to speak to him. How many ulties do you have? None. You've no. Oh, thank you, God. You, you know how expensive they are. Nothing. They're all. You have their secrets. Are they all. <laughs> they, wait, they're all secrets. They're all secrets. I'm there's sure the secrets are like four, four to six hundred. Four are secrets. Four are secrets. Tw Twenty four are secrets. Eight, yep, wait. and eight and nine. Eight and nine. Are. A, what they call 89 uh, maxis i've got the um wait you said 89 89 uh, maxis i've got why because what? all get <laughs> in trades. all right wait have you ever played I, I you should be old enough to have played through of maxi what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> no I've, i i'd got in the game right um yeah don't don't worry so, it, like all we need to know is that if maxi comes off the list um darth trader is gonna get us a full fucking studio <laughs> this brother is gonna be minty that's it that's all you got it's it's gonna gonna be multiple houses yeah <laughs> gosh Made out like of scene, I, I, I remember like when i had a playset of secret maxi for some reason because in the time I played competitively, Maxi's only ever been at one because I came in just before Maximum Crisis. But somehow I ended up with three secrets and one common. And I shifted mm -hmm. the lot for about 50 quid. Um, about Probably four or me. five months after it got banned. No, I, it was it was actually to Andrew. Uh, or at least I remember oh, Andrew specifically right. picking up at least a secret Maxi. Unless my memory's played games on me. But I think I actually picked Andrew's. How, how, how much, I actually think so, I did. So you have my secret Maxi. But how much, how much is secret Maxi sitting at now? Because I know the ult is um, four to six hundred. It's something in that ballpark. But what do secrets go for? Yeah, uh, for my like European standards, it's going forty cheapest per 40 copy, cheap. and that's un you know unlimited. Happened, I I hope this never happens. But if they ever did, everyone would be selling it. Everyone would be trying to get it because there hasn't been a reprint of it in literal years. But then, <laughs> but then it would just get an OTS super or common. 
Don't. Yeah. If they do, no, I'm quitting the game. If Maxim comes oh, back yeah, as no. OTS Ma- super, it, it, no. It's like we said on the discussion stream, no. like prior to the podcast even being a thought process. Maxi is a black hole, and I don't want to get into it too much because we have discussed it before. But yeah. it would take the game, you know, multiple ban lists, literal years to correct and change the format because it's just a black hole. So many decks become good, become bad. It's like in the OCG. It's why they limit everything instead of banning it. It, it changes everything. And it also, ev- like, Ash, objectively, is the most played card in the game. Almost every single deck plays three Ash. But because of prosperity, that's now changing. Ash isn't always around. Sometimes you just play your gas. Sometimes you're putting in a uh, main deck. Um, Gammas and Lancias or Gammas and Drolls, whatever it is. Yeah, sometimes Lancia. Maybe you just cut the hand traps all together in favor of just playing every blowout card. But like in the TCG, say what you will, whether you enjoy or don't enjoy the format, it's more creative. The TCG format straight up is more creative because not everything's a given, but Maxi is a given. Um, and that's why I never want to see it come back. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. One of the things that I like doing is looking at the OCG list because some of them are fucking mental one offs and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's it's fun to see just just to look at these decks and go, that would never work here. That generally no. wouldn't they? You, like they would be at the kids' table, at, like at mm. regionals and stuff. And that's that. It's it's a good balance, I think. As Jamie would say, the last ban list. If they released maxi it would just generally be like a purge for the game you just everybody goes up and just has fucking muddles each other and just see what what survives that's like it. for me the ban list in ocg makes absolutely no sense anymore like they have so many things that yeah okay like uh because they have maxi oh, they have these i things think we've just opened well. a can Go off, Nibiru, no. go off. No, okay. The one thing that I will just say... Two castles, Karina. Oh, yeah. For I, example, I'd be happy with one. I'd yeah, be happy with one. I, I want one. The Light Sworn because... player and the Degenerate player won't grasp back. Am I surprised? Oh. Absolutely <laughs> fucking not. I have the, not the played more with grass. The 60-card deck, the more it's balanced. That's it. If you're not playing 60 cards, fuck, nobody else is. I have started the podcast with the worst people. <laughs> no, um, the, like the one thing I wanted to say, like in comparison, if you compare OCG to, uh, like the impact of Maxi alone, right? Just because mm. they have Maxi, they can have almost full power Spiral, and no one gives a fuck. No one can top with Spiral over there, while we would die in a heartbeat <laughs> as soon as we get like. Only only one master plan is enough to ruin our format again. Like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I said, seeing the OCG, see when the OCG ban list comes through, and I actually watched one of the OCG channels do like a live ban re- ban list reaction. Nothing. Like generally, they're just like, okay, I'll just move. Like in their language, that's what they said. But <laughs> in their language, just, do you mean yeah. Japanese? <laughs> hear me i i genuinely don't know i'm just hands up i don't know what they were talking so it could be anything that's the thing but <laughs> <laughs> yeah i could go more on this one right but that's the thing I'm dying. yeah right i'll be second jamie right <laughs> but as i've seen we get engaged and that's it. People are quitting and stuff like that, which yeah. is funny. It takes this <laughs> and it does nothing. You have broken no, me, Darth. Mentali- you have broken me. The, <laughs> the mentality from OCG to TCG is also very different. That is true. Like, we have so many, like, uh, like things. If Like, for example, Engage is one of the best examples. The outrage of Engage being back was huge. Like... Yeah. That, that's I mean, the thing. It, I think I, objectively okay, engage is better pot of greed, but it won all cards on the table. I think it won. It, it's fine. I, I remember at the time, that's what most of us were saying anyway, was either like a semi limit on engage, ban drones, um, or just straight up limit engage. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm an advocate. I, I don't like seeing a deck die unless it's Mystic Mine or Guru. Fuck, take a boo. 
Um, I, <laughs> I don't like seeing a deck down okay. ever. I, I like diversity. I like having to play mm. against lots of different things. That's how I like it. I like it when it's mixed up. Um, but yeah, en- engage to one. Like, I play Cyber Dragons. I'm just gonna make Fortress and Mega Fleet anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's You're mean. And you Steve. shouldn't. That's mean, and I shouldn't. Fuck you, Nibiru. Yes. <laughs> Your opinion is fertilizer, Nibiru. <laughs> Maybe something great will grow out of it. Yeah. Maybe one day. But <laughs> it's just, I don't, I don't know. I think engage, engage is fine. Engage is fine. No. See, since I, I, I played the deck, and I went, it's fine. It, it's been diluted so much that it's no fertilizer. It's just good. I think the one thing that does concern me, and the reason I didn't want to see engage back in the first place was I was always like, if Engage comes back, you have to hit Mystic Mine. It's definitely a one for another thing. But that didn't happen. So Sky Striker mm-hmm. have access to Mystic Mine. And yeah. I don't like Mystic Mine. I don't think it should have ever been printed. I understand. But like I, 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 I feel if any one card is the backbone of an entire type of deck, that being burn, <clears throat> combo, control, um, or... Burn combo or control. <laughs> Whether that's burn <laughs> combo or control, any one card that defines that entire type, like not even archetype, one card that defines the type can do one. I am all. Um I would much rather have Kaiser Coliseum back than Mystic Mine. Okay, that's a statement. It, nah, exactly. I, I would rather oh, have I, I would rather have three mind. Kaiser than three Mystic Mine. Start your witch hunt. He's calling us dumb. I just want to point this out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so I know, I'm not going. I, I w- Mystic How Mine. Am I, the bomb? I, I would say <laughs> Mystic. I would say Mystic Mine is worse than Kaiser Coliseum. I'm gonna like double check the effect to make sure. I'm it not, is like... worse, but then again, Kaiser is also not. Uh, if you bring back Kaiser for Mystic Mine, that would be one of the dumbest trade-offs because you trade Monkey for trade Monkey. Trade offer. <laughs> you lose pain. You get agony. Yeah, like so. Kaiser, Kaiser Coliseum. Well, if there is one or more monster or monsters on the field of the controller of this card, his or her opponent cannot place a monster on the field. Um, if his or her number of monsters would exceed the number of uh, monsters that are on the field, no problem uh, solving card fix. I love it. The cards that are already <laughs> on the field before this card's activation are unaffected <laughs> by this card effect. So, th- so th- that's the big thing: is that you don't like. Kaiser Coliseum is still a stupid card. I don't, I don't, let me clarify. I do not want Kaiser Coliseum back. <laughs> I don't want to actually create trade off or lose Mystic Mind Gain Kaiser because that is literally taking, that, that's frying pan fire. Except in this instance, we're talking ball vice and cheese grater arse light. Um, but Full circle again. The, the, thing about Ka- <laughs> like, the thing about Mystic Mind is cool. I baited your spell trap negate, activate Mystic Mind, you lose. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I think it's pretty stupid. Actually, someone in chat, like, uh, to address chat once in a while, um, I, someone in chat just said, imagine Striker with Kaiser. Dude, Striker with Kaiser Coliseum would be so, what? so horrible. Like, Any it would deck be... with Kaiser would be bad. Do you know why? Yes, but because you cards only need one like, <laughs> because cards like Kaiser and Mystic Mine are bad in general, bro. Yes. Well, you need one monster, and then you have like anything you need for Kaiser Colosseum to kill your opponent. Right. Well, here's a statement for you, Jamie. Oh no. Is Mystic oh, no. Mine oh, no. a shit version of Engage? What would you rather? Free Is... Engage. Uh, one on. engage Wait, was your opening mine? question is Mystic Mine a shit version of Engage? Yeah. <laughs> because the trade off is you play two mine to replace your missing engages because you just get the same amount of value off it. I'm going to put on my sophisticated an smart voice for a moment. So, the question would you consider Mystic Mine to be a shit version of Sky Striker Dash Engage? This question just infers. 
This question infers that there is a comparison. <coughs> After all, to infer that something is a shit version of another means the two are comparable. One says search, one says no. Fuck off, Darth. <laughs> <laughs> one's a what I agree that couldn't they come back? And the other, and the other says no! They don't do the same thing! <laughs> Go to jail, Darth! <laughs> With one you search a car, with the other one this oh pain, my you search God. Pain, your enemy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but they both search in different ways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is your public Which service Which at the end of the day, after Mystic every moment of the drawn. misplay podcast, <laughs> the big fat celestial, otherwise known as Jamie Smith, must seek professional help to conduct his psychiatric analysis to ensure that he is safe to reintegrate with society. After all, <laughs> he is forced to associate with the absolute bottom dwellers of society. <laughs> you fucking vermin. You know, mate, I, I swear to God, I'm starting to think I'm like Sheldon Cooper here. Like, I'm pure 10,000 brain in it. And I can't be mental. My mum said me tested. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We have Sean Cooper in the in the podcast as well. I didn't know that. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> oh, I think I think we've gone too far. I think we've gone too far. I think we reached the maximum of stupidity or. Feel just everything. Oh, mate, there's plenty, man. This is just the, the tip of the iceberg. pretty and free. Great that you feel that way. I yeah. dance <laughs> among the flowers. <laughs> I think he, so he's gone insane. Actually gone insane now. All right, I think we broke him enough. We can now close on the podcast. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so mental hospital next week, boys. Yeah, this podcast was specifically made uh, made to break Big Fat Celestial, nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I suppose rather horrifically, we now move on to like the open thought general discussion topic. I mean, we've kind yeah. of like we've not exactly done the best job of staying on topic, but you know, let's. Um, I suppose for the sparing sake of my sanity, this is more just the general discussion things we're looking forward to decks that we could maybe try in the new format has anyone actually watched sevens yet probably no no um <laughs> our thoughts have on like the upcoming things? product and so on any predictions we might have Ooh. okay um i'm predicting that king's court is looking fucking good and, yeah, like uh, and a lot of People will sleep on that because they think, oh, it's not that, 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 that. but like the reprints in that. Whew. So, what are the main like, reprints we have coming ones. in from King's Court? We've got so Lightning we have, Storm. We got Lightning Storm, which is huge. And we got Guard Dragon, by the way. Wait, uh, like, oh, yeah, the Guard Dragon, ones. the spell. How much, the, the spell how much was a, the Ultra sitting at? Because that was uh, 10 crap. each. 67. Yeah, 6 or 7, sometimes 10. Like, it, it mm -hmm. varied depending on how well Dragonling actually did in tournaments. Yeah. Um, so that's an actual good reprint. I mean, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of floodgates, but rivalry, uh, rivalry is also a good reprint because it hasn't been reprinted in a long, long time. When it got a super so, yeah, ages ago. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, ages. What were you saying, Darth? Hmm? I think it was the the last reprint I had was in Figure, the first of the gadgets. Yes, yeah, I think as well. Yeah, that that might was be that actually the last super? one. Yeah, yeah, that's the. I think that's the only thing we had at Hollow. That, that I, I think, can think, I think of. like one of my mates' deck boxes has it in it here. Oh, it's hidden summoners, not uh, yeah, it was hidden oh, summoners. Hidden summoners. Yeah, hid, hidden summoners. That sounds more correct. Well, it's also like it's 2018. That's been over two years now, so it's a justified 20, reprint. 2018 was technically three years ago. Yeah, my bad. Three years we're, ago. We're, we're now in the middle of 2021. Mate, <laughs> in my, in my, my, my pandemic, this, uh, a year's been missing. It's like the blip. That's the thing. Yeah, so it's literally the blip. Let, that's a whole other discussion. Let's not get too into that. Um, also, yeah, Utopic Future Dragon is in there. Like, let's be real. That's a very yeah, good part. Yeah, that, that really kind of explains why Dryden is gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that good. Cool, I mean, cool. it's good, but it's not that what good. What the fuck do you mean it's not that good? It's not that good. <laughs> like, it's good, but like, it doesn't, you know... 
It's not worth burning Dryden. It's n yeah, exactly. That's the point. It's not worth burning Dryden over. Right. You can ban her if it's actually a problem, but I didn't. I didn't believe it's gonna be that I'm much of an issue. I'm trying to find an English version I can actually read. Actually, Basically, what it's I just you need three X Y Zs to be able to not like normal summon it, but you just use your uh, normal summon an X Y Z bar. The, you, you can use trying the, to cause my head to explode. You can use the normal, normal utopic feature to then overlay the utopic feature uh, dragon. So as far three X Y Z monsters with the same rank except number monsters. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Its original rank is always treated as one, and it's treated as it's treated as a utopic future. You can also X Y Z this card by using number blah 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 future. You control his material transfer blah blah blah. Cannot be destroyed by a battle or card effects. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect. You can detach material from this card, negate the activation. Then, if that monster is on the field, gain control of it. Wait, I'm not saying the card is bad. I'm not saying the card is bad. I'm, I'm saying... glad you're not saying the card is bad. No, because the card be is quite that literally not bad. No. So the thing is, it's not worth uh, betting Dryden over because, first of all, uh, the combo you need to do for it is essentially what you kind of need to do for Mega Clops, and Mega Clops isn't worth a lot of times. Why? Because you make yourself hand trappable very I would hard. I'd definitely yeah. rather go into Utopia than um, Mega Claw. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. But the combo line is the exact same. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, you it's, just well, stop you, a little bit. Me Me Mega Clops is two X, three XYZs, isn't it? Exactly. So uh, you have three XYZs. In wait, this is it, case. No, wait, is, it, is it three or is it two? No, it's three. Um, you need three. So, uh, so in this case, you only need two, I think, because you need um, you can go into Utopic Future and then overlay into Utopic Future Dragon. I think that was the thing. If not, you can use the three, I guess. But it means like I can, I think I can like count up seven hand traps that immediately stop you and you end on basically. Oh, nothing just draw the outs, bro! Just draw no. the outs. It's uh, but it's seven different just things. Just draw the outs, bro. You have an just end. I draw. I draw. Exa just kaiju, just kaiju no. it, just dark ruler no more, just hand trap the combo, bro. Card's not broken. Yes, but Dryden Pass. Yes, you but... Do... Shut the fuck Dryden up. Dryden Pass, <laughs> okay. uh, if, it's, if it's 2021, I got the year right. Yeah. And you can't, you, can't, you can't get out of one pop, then maybe your deck's not good enough. No, like, Dryden Pass with back row was a solid play that Pure Zoo did. You know, it, it, it was good enough yeah, for a lot had, of reasons. When you had Strike and Dimension Barrier for the meta. No. Back in 2017, anyway. Because, like, yeah. Pure Zoo, especially. Like, Pure Zoo, especially, had so many flex spots for hand traps and back row. Are you, are you talking it, about, like, modern was... Pure Zoo? Or... Yes! Pure modern Zoo. Pure Zoo. No, stop. Did you just say, <laughs> what other Pure Zoo? No, I said, yes, obviously, this. Like, I'm talking about current Pure Zoo. Oh, yes, I often forget that you are Yugi Zuma. <laughs> I've been literally playing longer than you. I don't know what you're talking. You've not been playing longer than me. <laughs> no, competitively oh, yes. not. That's no, true. competitively, I've been playing longer than you, and I've been playing that casually is, since the true. day I was born. That is very unlikely. But okay, moving on. So, making my point is, um, yes, I get that it's sort of you, you want to go into the utopic future, and obviously it pays off as soon as you get to it. The, but you, uh, try them pass. And with background, whatever, or hand traps or whatever, you had enough interaction with your opponent to stop your opponent from playing. Oftentimes, like as a Pure Zoo player, I had that. Um, I don't see a point in getting fucked by a hand trap instead of just, you know, having a solid play that can't be overrun. I mean, if they Kaiju or Dark Ruler, you're fucked no matter what you do. But in this case, you summon four cards, uh, like four times. And you have a Dryden with a good mater uh, like material what base are the already. Decks that are more like Zoo is probably the best candidate for going into Future Dragon. Yes. Um, hang on. What, what, what do you need to go into S Zero? Uh, two exist monsters with, uh, that are not numbers, as far as I remember. Give me a sec. Wait, S Zero like the Zexel? Or what did you the, mean? The thing, the thing that you can also use as a material to go into Dragon. No, I, I'm not sure. F-Zero? Uh, yeah, F-Zero Utopic Future, I think uh, it's called. Just Utopic Future. It's two exist yeah. monsters with the same rank except number of monsters. So, just one less. Like a guy's best deck. Yeah, well, I mean, two less is pretty significant. The difference between, you know, two overlay mon uh, two overlay summoned monsters or three overlay. Um, gra Granted, I mean, if we're comparing it to something like... Um, 
Rongo Bongo Turbo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact. No one ever summoned Rongo Bongo against me. I that went through that entire fun. format and it was never summoned against me. I played Celtic Guardian Rongo Mongo. Why am I on a podcast with you, Darth? <laughs> I mean, you chose him. I did. Yeah, apparently. exactly. I don't know. I feel it was more like obligation because of the group chats we had. I was like, hey, oh, we had fun on that last one. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, like, Aye. when it comes to, like, comparing Rongo to Drago, um, mm. it's... I, th I think everything we're looking at when we're looking at, like, Rongo, when we're looking at Drytron, when we're looking at Tribrigade, all still results in the same point. That why can all these decks access these negate... But heroes still have fuck all at TCG Tally. <laughs> hey, heroes have a negate. Uh, how how many times you. are they going to use evil fusion or dark fusion, whatever it's called, to go into the actual negate? Do, well, do, do you not need the specific materials my, for it? My build in the, on my channel, I actually start with an Appaloosa and then start doing hero plays. So I don't get hand trapped. Alright. He's in a gate. That's, that's a thing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Wait, you wanted a negate? You wanted a negate, didn't you? Yeah, but what, you what, what's the actual... He like, heroes have an archetype negate that I'm fairly certain is summoned through Dark Calling or whatever it's called. But it No, that's Bane. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not on about Bane. Like, there, there is a negate summon. There is a... Yeah, the only... Yeah, but, like, the only negate they have is... What was it? Chaos Hero or something like that? That is... It needs... It requires two masked heroes as a fusion material. Uh, and that's I think that negate. I think. Wait, give me, give me a second. Mask hero. Up. So you need to have you need to have resolved mask change twice. So um, two mask hero monsters, and then must be fusing some cannot be special some other ways. Let face out of the field this card. Uh, no, wait, give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> Once per turn, the player player's turn, you can target one face up card on the field. Negate that target's effect until the end of the turn. That is called interest hero chaos. That's what all was the have. change they gave to absolute zero? I'm sure they changed absolute zero in a way for like when it hits the grave and gets the board wipe. I don't, I don't think it was an errata. I think it was just a ruling change. Uh, Do you guys know what wait. I'm talking about? Or am I? Uh, I don't. Could it be a, like a uh, a possession debate, as in if it goes leave if it leaves the field or if it's destroyed or something like that? Is it one of the things you're talking about? <laughs> I can't remember. I, I I'm remembering some. Regardless, so I suppose, <laughs> yeah. like quick question then. I suppose if heroes got something that you know off of miracle fusion as opposed to going into um you know absolute or something. If heroes got a achievable omni negate into their board when we're we're talking dark law plus an omni negate or dark law sunrise plus an omni negate. Would that be enough to make a difference? Yeah. Not a huge one. I wouldn't say it would be top tier, but I would say it makes a difference because you can, you know, further protect your Dark Law, which outs so many decks. Yeah. So, uh, Dark there's Law, a... Dark uh, yeah, Dark Law is, like, one of the Floodgate monsters that are one of the most insane Floodgates that we have. So, like, oh, for sure. Yeah, like... Is it not the like only reason that Mask Change 2 got limited or something? Is mass change too limited? It, it was. It was definitely like limited, oh. semi limited, but it isn't anymore. Isn't as far it? as I remember. Oh, yeah. uh, mass change. I thought mass change too was just like discard one and summon something of the same yeah. attribute. Uh, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a generic yeah. one. With a higher level? Uh, like yeah, you need you need to yeah you discard one, then target a face card, uh, monster, then you send that away, and then you summon something with a higher level with the same attribute. Yeah. And is that um, unlimited now? I yes, was, that I is guess. unlimited. Well, I, I actually so used that in Orcus as a tech. <laughs> so I I in wait, in Orcus yeah. you went into Dark Law. Oh wait, it's just your opponent's yes. Dark Law effect, isn't it? Yeah. Also, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't affect you. first of all, that and second of all, even if it did, you can use it as a turn one play and then you know link it away technically. Or like, actually, Mass Change Two is a quick effect, so mm -hmm. you can just play it in your opponent's standby phase. Oh, like I mean, that's the very de definition of Orcus is yeah. your turn. Yeah. Our turn. Exactly. Like, 
Uh, that is very true. So Moss change to definitely an insane card. And I think protecting your Dark Law further uh, would make a huge difference for heroes, especially. Are there any yeah. other decks that the new ban list and the new format? Because what in King's Court we've got some good reprints, and I like this the new uh, unique cards in them. But I don't think there's anything in them that's going to be particularly format changing. Yeah. No, I I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But we're getting a, a new pre summon seed. I think it's Joker Knight. Um, if you're playing a, a vanilla, so say Jack Knight, you can dump Jack Knight. So he's basically like a warrior version of Magician Souls. Yeah, I saw mm -hmm. that. And, and it recycles the Jack Knight back into the deck. So then and adds sure himself. Like, yeah, that's the whole thing if, with that new archetype. Is like the it all recycles itself. It can never burn itself out. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Which I, I think like. That, I, like, I actually think they did a things. really stellar job with designing yeah. those cards. When the leaks came out and I was reading them, I was like, yeah, these are cool. I like these. Do I think they're yeah. going to be I... format shifting? No. But are they really cool cards that are going to make some really interesting rogue decks? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. They can yeah, be used I, as I think decks. That, that's the only card that I can really see that's going to maybe join a meta deck at some point just as a, an extra extender was hang on actually in, when we're talking about magician souls was it not heavily speculated that magician souls was also going to get a reprint because they said a card like magician souls but then normally when they highlight a card that way it translates to a reprint I know. Like? it it um so a card like magician soul i think they would have done a different comparison or a they would say a dark magician card is gonna be in there or no, whatever I'm, no well, i mean yeah. there was definitely yeah. a set like a set coming out the, in the official the description. Yeah. yeah. I like, think it, it might it might have been the Megathons. Do you think? Be. Because uh, I, the, see the legendary Dulles, mm -hmm. as in they've done every yeah. single one up until the last one, so the, the Dark Magician, the hero set, and they're saying that they're not going to do that anymore. They're going to do the gold sets. So it could just be the next thing. Oh, yeah, we've, flung we, we've got um what's the next gold set? Bro. Um El Dorado. El Dorado. El Dorado. Right. We also got Brothers of Legends though. We got Brothers of Legends coming, which is basically Battles of Legends, to be honest. Well, no, yeah. it, it, it's its official name here is Battle of Legends. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I saw the uh, leak for it. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, we got we got that thing coming. It's anyway. coming later than it, than any other previous one has. Um, yeah, yeah. So what prize cards are there that still need uh, a reprint? Because that was always bar one Battle of Legends. They've always tried to take it upon themselves to reprint one prize card um mm -hmm. there's not many other prize okay. cards that are okay. as format changing Master there's there's one Master darkest diablos or something it's like a rank seven no that's i think he's called mastermind i'm sure it's yeah. number 80 80 mastermind or something yeah i think um, so i think he's a hand trip yeah I, I think it, something like that i i generally generally cannot remember that's at least about four if five year old that card now so and i think they did say that it was coming in in the next battle legends i'm positive it so, was scripted so for the money cards i like think of right now uh definitely bls link holy shit please well, um considering bls came out in a battle of legends i don't think it's gonna get reprinted in one uh it could be to be honest yeah true that's not a bad thing it could be also in mago to be honest whatever like uh i'd, also I'd be say that. that's really likely i'd say i would say in el dorado yeah. it's it's likely because an embossed gold bls would look pretty fire to be honest um my thoughts is like f since we didn't have any secret slayers reprints uh mm -hmm. like except the Golden Lord, yeah, okay. I would say maybe actually Researcher, for example, is a good good hit to or like reprint that could come up. Yeah, I I think that that would be the side set that got fl that gets flung in the tins. So I think I hope I hope I, I think last year we did get a side set and we got like the the deck builder set because we got the oh what are they call evil eyes the yeah there was other stuff people um in the tracks and stuff. So I think infinite that chases. Could, yeah, so I think that could yeah. be flung in as well. So it, it could see a reprint. Yeah, yeah. I, I reckon the tins this year probably stand to be some of the most significant. I think the only thing that could make the tins like more crazy than they're already looking to, like even without droplets. Uh, what what was the other card that we know is probably not going to make the tins? 
Um, no, lightning, uh, lightning, storm. Lightning, storm. lightning storm. Lightning storm. Lightning, lightning storm and droplets will almost definitely not be in the tins, but you still have Doesn't triple matter. tactical talents. You still have Zeus. You still have all the access phantom stuff. You, you still have access code. There's, there's going to be so many good things in that tin. But can mm -hmm. you imagine right. if, like, one month before it comes out, they're like, "By the way, nobleman of uh, de noble uh, cross out designator." Can you imagine? Because that that's the no, one card no. I'm absolutely choking for is cross out. You want that? I want cross out designate. Are you crazy? Yes. Just uh, he bring, wa okay. Just, just bring my C back at this point. Maybe else does. Maybe he's gonna go. Oh, I'll reveal my Atlantean dragon. Maybe he's gonna do that. Hey, don't bring Mermels out with us. Mermels has nothing to do with the reason I want designator. <laughs> All right. I definitely don't want to show my own Nibiru and go fuck you. <laughs> no, I designator is one of the cards I hate the most, and it's encouraging weird ratios and weird deck building and that's i don't like that i don't like one of hand traps just the, because the you want to designate the thing them is, you've got to bear in Oof. mind in the ocg with designator everyone plays maxi so designator yeah. is yeah. an absolute fucking must but in yeah. the tcg the only really agreed upon hand trap is ash and using designator yeah, to yeah. hit ash isn't the it, it's fine like, it's absolutely fine, but it's not, like, the strongest thing in the world. But, like, because we don't have Maxi, Designator in the OCG, yes, results in Maxi at three, Designator three. Like, that's six cards you automatically pretty much have to play. But, like, in the TCG, other than Ash, even mm -hmm. if it's, like, yeah, it's a really good idea, this format, to main triple droll or whatever, like, you still don't... Not every deck... There's not an agreed upon playing this other than Ash... Which lots of decks are playing at two or now, no. anyway, because of prosperity. Yeah. I I think see cross out doesn't it when it comes out. See for like combo heavy decks, I think they'll go for the Terra Tot uh, Toka Tombog like ratios of three to one. So say Nibiru really hits the deck, they're gonna play three cross out and the one Nibiru just as that darn it target. I think well that might be the way that they're gonna play it. Um, apart from Nibiru, he doesn't need to play one in the main deck. He just shows his face and just goes, I choose me. That's it. So the, the, the thing with Designator is, again, in the OCG, you have Maxi. So you have to play Maxi. You're, like, you're playing Maxi yeah. anyway. That That's six cards. In the TCG, it's not necessarily the case. So say, for instance, we take Mermel, because that's my personal example. My deck mm -hmm. can get fucked. If I don't see Minstrel... Um, you know, and I or I have to sacrifice the Molen Glacier, Molen Glacier play. If I don't see Minstrel, I die to Droll, or I die to Nibiru. But I can play Cross Out Designator, and my opponent might not be maining Nibiru or Droll, but I might have to to give myself that additional safety because those are good mm -hmm. hand traps in general. But I'm bulking my deck out with more cards. Which, whilst they're still good again against my opponent, I might be sacrificing other slots. Like in that specific example, and this might be pretty a bad example, but I might ha cut things like Ash or Gamma to ensure I can play those hand traps that kill me more. Because the thing about Mermail again is my specific example is you need turn killer hand traps. You need D Shifter. You need Nibiru. You need uh, Droll. Um. So things like Ash, things like Gamma, don't threat me as much. Yeah, I could absolutely still lose to them, but not typically very often. But in the TCG, you have to play, you know, Designator is as good as the cards as you're protecting yourself against. Um, so for instance, the decks, the cards that I hard lose to, like Nibiru or Droll, I might play Designator to hit those cards, but I then get Ash and I might have cut Ash for those cards. Like there's, there is more thinking that go like Designator is a more thought-provoking card in the tcg than it is in the ocg by far i am like for me like funny interactions that aren't like okay to be honest in theory designator still hurts a lot but um i get the points i, I do um it's just funny to me that for example dark ruler no more is a card that can be outed by it uh, that is just uh, literally funny to me uh <laughs> So it's, it's such it's such a I don't think actually a lot of people actually know that and it is such a good thing especially for combo heavy decks. Yeah, it it, it can it can save a lot of decks in a lot of situations. 
which I don't know if I want to see that because we had the same problem with Call by the Grave. I was at the beginning I was advocating for like Call by the Grave to three again, but then the more I played with it or like with the current state of it, and the more I saw it. I was like, okay, maybe it's just healthy at one. Just because Tally put it really well. I'll, I'll not take this away from Tally. Tally okay. said that Call by the Grave is a great card, but it's better for better decks. It's great for yep. rogue decks to protect their combos, but the decks that yes. are already insane benefit way more. And I am a person who's an advocate that for Call by to three. True. But when Tally said that, I was like, "Fuck, he's right." He's right. <laughs> yeah. You got a you got a legit point there. Like dry turn with cold by you Tally try to draw them an and they just point. lads pack it. We're done. That's rare. I know. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, that's very rare, but it happens sometimes. I guess <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so oh hell uh, no. Like imagine trying to draw um, dry turn right now with three cold by the grave. The likelihood of them having that is is there, you know, and yeah, you just lose afterwards because you can't stop the combo other ways. It's, yeah, hundred percent. That's that's the thing. I think. What what would your opinions be? Is cross out the Exonator better in the TCG than the OCG? Did you say better? Is, sorry. I so like as in would you what what would you say would it would would you rather have called by the grave or would you rather have cross out the Exonator in the TCG? Okay, since you need a specific target for cross out, I would say cross out would be much more uh, yeah I'd, I'd say cross out is more balanced because you need to be playing the cards it's only as good as the cards you have in to protect yourself so depending how paranoid you are so t take for instance if if pure zoo hadn't just lost trident pure zoo could play you know oh, their their <laughs> 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 get fucked, me, baby. if pure zoo, hadn't just, if, if pure zoo hadn't just lost trident they'd be able to play Pretty much every good hand trap. D Shifter, Ash, Nibiru, uh, they'd even play the Dark Roll no more, and then they could play Designator on top of that. That's a deck I wouldn't like to go against. I'll be very honest when I say that. I um, feel like that's a more justified hit to uh, okay, if Cross of Designator is getting released soon, that's a more justified hit to Dryden than yeah. the UFD. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, saying that right that, now. That, that's a good point. Like when we're talking like if it's like, oh, Dryden's banned to allow Dragon um i see why people argue that point but if dryden's banned to allow dragon and designator well then you've got a bit more of a kiss on your hand yeah that is true that is very true if they announce that soon enough or it will be in a set then i get the dryden band a little it, bit better it because it has to yeah. be coming out soon because it's been out in, I, the, I in the OCG for ages now have, have you looked at Helky fibrex i i think it uh, took we, three, yeah, we, three we, years we, uh, uh, no, never mind Hulky Fibrax and Magi Magi. We have been waiting Magi Magi for eight years. Magi Magi? <laughs> Magi Magi? I don't actually know Magi Magi the, off the top of my head. It's a, it's a Dark Magician card. Oh, the, um, a, the Dark Magician XYZ. girl, XYZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I know weird? exactly why that's yeah, all. It, it, I remember the whole thing about that. That was something to do with the artist, wasn't it? The artist mm. doesn't want the actual uh, artwork to be censored. That's why it's not coming to the TCG, because TCG censors artworks yeah uh, they they are not willing to censor it I, and i, I, uh, I remember just, hearing that yeah mm. so that's why it's not coming but i think uh, i think it will just be the the main search card for the the tins so i think it will just be the direct, the direct replacement for dragoon this year is the yeah i mean like Ooh. obviously promos aren't really a thing anymore they're built into the pack and i think the only other card the ocg has that the tcg is choking for on like a level of dragoons it is designator i can't think of any other card that they would announce for the tins where everyone would be like oh yeah i wasn't before but now i'm definitely buying tins um, life bring a lucifer sorry life bring a lucifer if you know you know <laughs> it's a uh, okay it's, uh, it's, it's a it's a joke it's uh, so it was like the, cards a... the magic the gathering artists did it's it's like a collab with something I forgot which what uh, which with what I guess but it's a vanilla twenty six hundred uh card that's just you know horny design that's all <laughs> we never got it that's it um I see well I am Nibiru being horny on main as usual I mean obviously I'm single I, I'm allowed to <laughs> uh <laughs> no so <laughs> I think okay here here we out here we out. 
a wand card I want to see in the tins. I don't care if it's on the level of Dragoon, but I want to have Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast. Okay? okay. Give me that shit. Right. <laughs> right. Where, is, is it Nasha? Na Nash is just like, give it to me. I just want it, okay? Yeah, I just want my Nasha are just like, wait, na is it Nash or Nash? N Neshi, I think, or whatever yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, like uh, Nash and Yata are absolutely choking yeah. that bet to get that card. <laughs> I want that shit, dude. What does it even do? I actually don't know what Zenith does. So, okay. Um, essentially, if this card is... Uh, if this face-up card is destroyed and once it's on, you place it in your spell trap, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can only use one uh, each effect once per turn, and then it has bullet points. That is very important. I don't know why. Uh... <laughs> When this card is declared, uh, de <clears throat> when an attack is declared involving a crystal beast monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. First of all, uh, mm -hmm. not bad. It's a three three K beat stick and a battle phase. And then you can banish this continuous spell to special summon one a level four low crystal beast monster from your deck to negate its effect. And if you do, add one ultra um, ultimate crystal to your hand. So you search the rainbow dragon. That is mandatory, by the way. So and it, you special it's right for a patchwork for crystal beasts, but with extra steps. Yeah. A little bit like that, but Crystal Beasts are that bad that they need this shit, holy shit. <laughs> they need it. <laughs> yeah, like, Crystal, Crystal, Beast Crystal Beasts got some of the best worded support in the game. Like, Crystal Ball and Rainbow Bridge and all that. Yeah, Some of, like, the best worded support ever. Like, in any other deck, format warping. But if mm -hmm. you're Crystal Beast... <laughs> we need more monsters that do stuff. Yeah, because they, they, we have, like, three they monsters. Need modern retrains. Yes, they need modern retrains. Um, they also, actually, speaking of Rainbow Bridge, a lot of people sleep on the card. Like, the most, uh, talked about card in the deck is Crystal Bond, but it's, Rainbow yeah. Bridge is a non once per turn searcher for everything. Mm hmm That's a, like, basically a role for the entire deck, isn't it? Exactly. Like, it's mm -hmm. so good. It's so sleep upon. Like, I don't Pegasus know why. I, I think, I think that was more, more the fact that, it see, when the, the set came out, it was Crystal Bond that was shot printed, so I think everyone had the Rainbow Bridge. No, no, no! It wasn't Crystal Bond. It was Ancient Gear Fusion. I remember. Oh. I played Ancient <laughs> Gears as a fun deck at that point. That card <laughs> was forty-five quid on fucking release. Ancient <laughs> Gear. If a card includes the words Ancient Gear in its text, it should not be forty-five pounds on release. I actually I have, I actually have, I have a first dead ultra. Dude. What was that, Darth? I think so, uh, somebody had typed it up, but you put the decimal point in the wrong place. That's what it is. It shouldn't be above a fiver, that card. No, yeah, 100%. That Dude, card like the same so thing, Crystal Bond as well. Crystal Bond as well. When I returned I, to the I game, had the like a play was not. Because I was trying to get Ancient Gear Fusion. Yeah. I had either three or four copies of like every uh, Crystal Beast card, shifted them all for buttons. What? Crystal Bond, when I returned to the game, was 30. I re like, I came back, fucking thing blew up. I don't know why it was 30. Like, it's a very good card, but, like, holy shit, I never understood that. Because there's not that many Crystal Beast players that this thing gets bought out or whatever. Like, no. I, I can it's tell just, you that. It's just people try to make the money back on, on boxes. Yeah. Once they open it, they go... This is fucking shit. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just make this. Spot that, that, that's and get like my money me back. when I opened the like the legendary Julius Kaiba thing, and I was like, "Oh wow, mm -hmm. Bingo Machine Go and all these cards out my box." And I was like, "Huh." Well, at least I yeah. got Cyberload Fusion. <laughs> Bro, Bingo Machine is so expensive still after the reprint. What's mm -hmm. expensive? Uh, Bingo Machine is still like mini money or whatever. Uh, yeah, is, so is Bingo Machine reprint. not only play like because I I did pull Bingo Machines, but is that not only played in the Ritual build? I I've seen it played in a pure build, but I've seen people only playing one and I sit and go, but why? It's like Dark Magical Circle. It's it's quite good. Yeah, like Blue, do just... Blue Eyes have a way to search Blue Eyes spell and traps? I don't I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so no. either. I know. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I, I I don't rate Bingo Machine Go that high. Yeah. Like, it was at, like, 30, or, like, almost 30, and then now it's mm. still at 10, which I, is still amazing. I can amazing only time. think that it was played in the Ritual builds, because it was, like, an easy way to, like, reveal 3 Chaos. Matt. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it was, like, widely played. But the I fact that it's not that played shit. in Duel Links, it's out in Duel mm. Links, it's not played in Duel Links, and alternative... And Chaos are in Duel Links, and it's not played. 
speaks mm. volumes. <laughs> as, as soon as something is not meta and duelings, it has to be very shit. Yeah. <laughs> like Rika. Uh, <laughs> hell. I mean, even the Roma made it better than Rika. I'm sorry, but like, come on. Uh, that's a heavy, heavy like, punch to your dick, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I love Aroma, but like, whoo, the deck needs a lot of help to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think plant decks in general do. They, sh they should just oh, go, yeah. like, when I'm speaking about the Calamity format, where they just unban Masterpiece, uh, Colossus, Spellbook of Judgment, when, when, they, when they decide that it's time for the Armageddon format, just put Glow Up Bulb to three put uh, one for one to three and put soul charge to three and let's just watch the world burn <laughs> actually give me one dandelion and i will combo your ass off <laughs> oh. dandelion is, is dandelion so not set to grave or destroyed uh let me actually double check on that really because i had it in my head it was destroyed but i think when i saw it yesterday it was actually just when it's sent to grave if this card is sent to the graveyard especially summon two uh, tokens mm-hmm Oh, I fucking love this card, but it's so broken. Well, like, especially now. Like, see the next team you're doing remote drills? Mm -hmm. Just one dandelion and see how far you could go. Show oh, okay. okay. I will, see, I will try well, that. The thing is, in the progression series that Tally and I are doing, um, Level Eater and Dandelion appear in Structure decks. Soul to Soul Charge. Max C does at one point. Literally, oh, no. the only ways that Maxi can be obtained, one person will get Maxi from a structured deck in Talionai's progression series. And the only other way to get it is if one of us get, because the maximum amount of tournament packs we can get for winning is if we win with the deck master challenge and we get four packs. So yeah, the, I've just sat and thought, I've just thought, you, you got Blue Eyes and Tally got Dark Magician, correct? Yes. Right. See when level eater, you get level eater, and then the uh, link, the first link structure that comes up with the link, link spider, Kiribo. honey bot, and uh, decode talker. I see when the one with the link Kiribo comes out, you can do a uh, level eater combos in blue eyes. Link, uh, link and Kiribo, just... which structure deck was link Kiribo in? Is that not the last link? Think... No, it was like the second one. I'm sure it was. I think it was the the one that bug came in. Because debug can, didn't come in the first one, I'm sure, and then came in the second one. I can't remember. Like, okay. genuinely can't remember. Actually, should be in the second one. It, it was it was a common, I'm sure, or it was an yeah, like, it was a common. It was... The by the time after we passed the uh, monarch structure deck uh, from like 2014, 15, whenever 2016, I don't know, whenever it is. Once we pass that, like all the decks start getting absolutely mad. Like uh, someone yeah. was pointing out how like the Shadol structure deck on its own is like ready to play like you could yeah, replace yeah. whatever tally and i have built by that point you could replace the entire deck just put in the shadal stuff and you, <laughs> that's it the final couple episodes yeah. of the series are carried by that alone yeah that's mm. very true yeah but I'm anyway gentlemen that. i think we have spoken uh, yeah. to a good length um, um that is true. I, th I think we've probably brought this to a good natural conclusion so I think uh, with that being said, before I say my own piece, does anyone have any uh, closing words to bring episode one to an end? Trying to just remember, Just remember, your deck's not shit. It's, just it's fertilized. fertilized. <laughs> it's fertilized, yeah. To everyone watching, whether you've been watching past, present, or future, as the big fat celestial, I thank you. Huge thanks to my co-hosts with Nibiru and Darth Trader, Darth underscore Trader. Make sure to follow them on their respective platforms. Follow the channel and join the Discord if you haven't already. And make sure to catch episode two next week. And until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>